Good morning! We're getting ready to do a little bit of skin care this morning. First thing I'm going to start off with is my jelly cleanser from the brand Dime, which I'm super excited to be partnering with them. So I'm going to tell you guys a little bit more about it while I do my skincare. I decided to make the switch over to Dime skincare this year because after struggling with acne and using harsh ingredients and chemicals, my skin needs a break. And I want to focus on healing my skin and keeping it healthy. And Dime prides themselves on making safe skincare products without sacrificing performance. Plus, their products are made right here in the U.S. using sustainable and 100% recyclable material, and they're vegan and cruelty-free. My favorite products from the Dime line are the Hyperglow and the Hyaluronic Acid Serum. I'm a huge advocate for vitamin C serums, and the Hyperglow is a vitamin C serum plus ferulic acid, which helps to prevent and correct hyperpigmentation like no other. And the Hyperglow also has hyaluronic acid in it, which helps to keep the skin plump and hydrated. Another thing that I love about the brand is that it's backed by a 100% satisfaction guarantee and that you can see how effective their products are by reading the reviews online. Just go to dimebeautyco.com slash 20 and enter promo code McKenna20 at checkout to get 20% off your own dime skincare routine. Good morning! It's technically the afternoon, but welcome back to a vlog! I know I told you I was taking a break from weekly vlogs, but then I lied because I'll be missing y'all, but I just, you know, the internet is really not a safe place, and I never really realized how traumatic it can be but i'm back in my i don't give up the moon so it's sunday start of the week it's like 12 o'clock right now we're having like this winter storm flurry alaska thing this was start later today so we're going bowling with me aaron his cousin and his girlfriend and i'm excited because you know i love when i get to be a, a real adult and get out the house so I'm already ready. We're waiting on Aaron's mom to come over so she can keep the boys for a little while and then we're coming right back over to the house to watch the Cowboys game. But I got some, or a package from Amazon. So I figured it's been a while since I've ordered anything off of Amazon one and then opened it up with you guys. Let me show you what I got. Okay, I have no idea what this is. So let's open this up first. Oh my gosh, I really have no idea what this is. Oh, it's headbands. Okay, cute, 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 cute. Y'all know I'm in my headbands era, so I ordered these thick old headbands off of Amazon. It came with black. Ooh, I can really try to put one on right, because it is cold outside. I don't want to mess my hair up, though, because, baby, when I tell you. Okay, it might be a little bit too big for the look I'm going for today. Or maybe, am I supposed to put the bow part in the front? Ooh. No, my head big. Child. No, this is still too big for my head, but I think it's going to be cute when I have braids because obviously I have more hair then and I can use it to help push back my hair. But today, no, it's not getting. I'm probably going to have to put my hair to redo my little ponytail. But anyways, nevertheless, we got some headbands. All right, the next thing I got are these little cards because... I'm about to, and they're Bible verse cards. I basically want to do this thing that's like a scrapbooking prayer journal in a sense, or just making like cute little letters. I just want to kind of like turn it into a hobby, you know, doing my prayers because I do write my prayers down in my iPad, but I want to start scrapbooking, doing something cute with it. I ordered these little cards off Amazon and they basically have Bible verses on them. For if you forgive others, their trespasses, your heavenly father will also forgive you. And it just like has all different verses with the verse on there. And I was like, okay, cute. I can put that in my journal about whatever I'm praying for or whatever. So I got that and then a little ASMR. You can't scrapbook if you don't have double-sided sticky tape or you know, whatever you know what i'm saying to so stick things on the paper so i got this pack off of there and then now that i'm looking at it i think is this volume two okay i have to look and see where is my book actually Hold on. okay so this is the bible study book that i'm using and i'm almost done with it it basically just tells you different stories of the book let me show you i think i've talked about it before but for an example, let's open up 
John and the Baptist. So it basically has what the story is, the synopsis, the key moment, the full reading, the outline, and then a reflection page of how it applies to like modern day society. And then it has a reflect, a ponder, and a pray. So I have this one, obviously. And then I ordered volume two off of Amazon. I really, really like these. I really, really, I, like, I've been finding myself doing two or three of these a day. Like I really like these little books. They're just good. And it gives you it in like digestible doses and every reading is different like some days the full reading is more than others less you know it just it changes every day which i kind of like so i got that and then what is this probably something else for my scrapbooking i got like a couple of different things oh no this is for the dining room table okay i think i told you guys in the last book i was doing something different in the dining room and i actually ended up not returning but canceling my order I had placed an order for crate and barrel because we want bench seating in the dining area but i like impulsively got these white cloth ones in my head i try to convince myself the kids can just eat at the bar stools at the counter and then they won't make a mess and then i was just like Cut beef so for real mckenna so i canceled the order so we're not getting any new dining room chairs for right now but i did get a couple things for the table just because we like to eat family style at the table or that's how i like to serve the bigger meals that we eat like dinner or breakfast so i got a little thing for napkins to sit out on the table i want to say this is my silverware holders but i can't open it because i need a tool i can't open it Ooh, let me see if I have scissors. I got nail clippers. It's wrapped so tight. Okay, so then I got these two little jars. I'm only gonna open one right now because Aaron's mom just got here. I just heard the doorbell, but she has a key so she can let herself in. But anyways, okay, we've got this little thing, and then you put your silverware inside of here on the dining table. So this and this. Why she don't want to cook? Okay, well that's all for the haul. <sighs> I'm in a good mood today, so I'm just trying to soak up every little bit of that because you never know what's going to happen tomorrow. Okay. I just told Aaron I was going to clean up up here. He's going to be mad. I need to pick that up really fast. Okay, anyways. Oh, OT. Ding. It's giving winter. It's giving snowy girl vibes. No. Uggs. Okay. Zara. Skims, American Eagle, Us. Ta da! Sunglasses, Amazon. I did my big one with this, no? Yes or no? Okay. And I even look, I put a little blush on today. I tried to put. New Year, new me! Okay. I just put this stuff back in the box real quick, so I'm gonna take this off. But I'll see you guys when we get to. We're going to Pinstack to bowl, so I'll see y'all when we get to Pinstack.
is I be, but deep down I think about you all day, mommy. I know I'm a pit bull, but darling, mommy. I just wanna take you on a holiday, mommy. Say what's on your mind, I'ma call away, mommy. Come and rescue me. Take me. We bowled. I won, of course, because I always win. Oh, everything. <laughs> wow. It was nowhere close to win. <laughs> I didn't lose. Know. I didn't you lose. Didn't lose. I didn't lose. I didn't, you lose. didn't lose. But, no, you but I didn't. I didn't win. Aaron won the first game, and then. <laughs> and then Asar, Aaron's cousin, he won the second game. I think. I don't know. Anyways. But now we're going to see Mean Girls. We impulsively decided we we're gonna go see Mean Girls and I've been wanting to go. So, you know, make a shake. The boys are at the house watching all the football games and stuff. So we're gonna go to the movies and see Mean Girls. Girls night. Before the weather gets bad, hopefully, and then we can't drive home. And then we get stuck in the movie theater and we have to stay there forever and ever because an apocalypse happens and Which then way? this way. That's what TikTok be making. Apocalypse. That's what TikTok be making it seem like. You know the grocery stores is cleaned out. I hope y'all got stuff yes. if you needed it. Cause it's white. It, it looks like COVID all over again in Texas. Cause sure people freak out. Here. Probably getting these people from up under I this bridge. It. I believe it. I to, hope so. Take them to warming cold. stations. Yeah. yeah. It's too damn cold. There's a like some people who live right here yeah, under I this know. bridge. I remember every time I come over here. Do you want to turn left? Yeah. This not the same movie theater we went to that one time. Where'd we go one time? When have I ever been to the movie? No, 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 no. Don't play. <laughs> no, oh. that movie theater was scary and sketchy looking. It was I so just, small, so I really crazy. liked that popcorn. What we did had, they have? Like some salt, mm -mm. caramel salt. Mm -mm. We had um, churro popcorn. It's crazy sounding, but that shit was so good. Like, so good. Has been miles, has been two. Get my head. I want to see my hair. Title, right? Some scary dog. It's not easy making a movie. You better not drop my phone. You got it? Yep. Okay, yep. there we go. Yep. Yep. Hey, oh, Lord, we're Cloverfield. Mm -hmm. Get up. Give me a minute. Make sure I'm in the frame, girl. Give me a minute. I'm in the frame. I'm in here? Yes. Give me the frame. Yeah. Got my head in there? Yeah. Oh, what's that? It's a cautionary tale. <laughs> Fuck what you're doing now. Quit doing that right now, baby. I'm John Mark Comer, the founder and author of Practicing the Way. And it is my joy to read over you our verse of the day from Jeremiah chapter 29, verse 13. You will seek me and find me when you seek me with all your heart. This verse imprinted on me deeply when I was a brand new follower of Jesus. I read a book about this concept all
Good morning. Happy Tuesday. I didn't see you guys all day yesterday because I let late. I don't know if I had like food poisoning or what when we came home from the movies. I was feeling kind of not that great when we came home from bowling, but then I just, it wasn't as bad. Then when I got home from the movies, I was like literally vomiting. I haven't thrown up in so long. Vomiting. Okay. And then all day yesterday, I was just recovering and it was just it was a mess so today we're recovering i have a little bit of work to do got to fold laundry upload a video because i uploaded it yesterday and then it was having some technical issues and then we're supposed to be recording an episode of the podcast today as well so it's pretty chill relaxed boring day i gotta finish cleaning up my room i made my bed though so that's what counts bts behind the scenes <laughs> i need to clean my room and yeah it's like as soon as i think we're getting back into a schedule here we go kids is out of school for Martin Luther King Day then today Carter's out of school again for the weather even though it's all that Alaska they predicted it lasted two seconds they really could have went to school today but they didn't but Carson and Mello did go to school because their school is open today Carter's just hanging around the house with us and about to go get started on work I did my morning routine this morning by the time shower I got myself ready I mean I have like loungewear on but I did something to my hair I slipped you know progress okay but yeah we got a lot of cleaning and whatnot but i'm gonna first start on work so i can get that out of the way oh. in the mail and i'm actually really excited because i read the outside of the box to see who it was from and it's pr from none other than way i've never got pr from way so i'm excited and i'm pretty sure it's the hair serum that i've been doing to try the hair gloss oh my gosh first of all why is the packaging so freaking cute okay it says glow all out hair gloss hyaluronic acid and rice water shampoo apply the product come through separate sections oh my gosh look how cute this is it's got a little shower head in the box i want to keep this oh oh I can't get it out okay anyways how stinking cute is this you guys i just finished up the majority of my work i didn't really have a lot today well i could have a lot today but for some reason i work better under pressure when it's last minute i get it done if i have a couple days to do it i won't do it you know what i'm saying i'm one of those i finished up what needed to be done today and then we're gonna record our podcast today but we're actually just gonna wait till it's tomorrow when carter goes back to school because it'll just be easier than trying to have him be quiet and all of that so i'm just about to work on cleaning up the house it's already the afternoon i don't know i guess i didn't realize how late of a start we got to the day but it's lunch time it's 12 o'clock so i'm gonna start taking out some meat out of the freezer and stuff too to de -thaw. i think i'm gonna do steak and broccoli tonight and i'm trying to think of one other dish that i want to do i don't really want to do macaroni and i don't want to do cabbage and i don't want to do rice might just be steak and broccoli i don't really know we'll see i was trying to think if i could make like a little appetizer for before but i guess we'll just see oh actually you know what we have no choice but to record the podcast today or maybe we'll be able to record it at night i didn't really want to film at night because we have this light right here but i just like the natural light better but we might have to record at night tonight because we have something to do tomorrow. Yikes. Shoulda, coulda, woulda thought about that. Okay, well, let's get cleaning. All right, we're about to fold laundry while we watch Married to Medicine because what else? I'm finally caught up. I'm on the current season, season 10. I just started it last night and it is getting spicy, baby. I need some more water. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, what? You said that you would come again. You said that 
we would remain friends But you know that I do not depend on nothing or no one So why would you show up so uninvited Just change my mind Okay, like welcome to this segment of the vlog where I'm going to rate my skimps because I feel like you either love it or you hate it and I'm folding laundry so I just want to give my opinion on things I have, I've purchased everything I purchased from Skims with my own money okay excuse me let's start there and I've never been sponsored okay some of the stuff she doesn't still have in her collection but I'm just going to talk about a couple of the pieces that I've had for like over a couple years now some newer pieces that I have what I would skip and what I actually like from Kim so First things first, I've had this for probably like one, two years. It's from the outdoor collection. It's the bodysuit. I also have the leggings. I think the material of them is nice. After a year or so, they do look, you know, worn after they've gone through the wash and stuff like that. Would I probably repurchase? I don't know. I feel like if I was in the shape that I wanted to be in, because obviously leggings and a bodysuit are super like tight to the body, maybe I would. But I don't ever wear the leggings and the bodysuit together because I don't like the way it looks on I me. Mean, so I usually just wear the bodysuit and then I wear sweatpants or something like that. I will say it's not very flattering on the chest area because it just doesn't like hold them up in the right position. But I mean, it's a cute little basic. Would I rebrand it? Just probably not. Probably not. Now, I tried this on maybe like a couple, two or three faux vlogs ago. It, she had dropped like basically these little zip up jackets and then it comes with well it doesn't come with you have to buy it separately but I bought the matching yoga pants and then the t-shirts so the t-shirts I do like the jackets are nice they're like they're all nice are they worth the price I don't know I personally haven't been able to find any like dupes that are the exact same material as the skim stuff that I bought but I know there's a lot of alternatives and similar looks that are a lower cost on Amazon which I'm thinking about getting some that are similar to like the yoga pant thing because I really like that um let's see these pajamas from skins not really a big fan of but I feel like it's just because I don't like the material personally so they're like this I don't even know how to describe it like what's the material I guess they're just 100% cotton I don't know but they don't have any spandex in them and I just feel like they're too crunchy they're not like super flowy and I don't like that because I feel like they're stiff on my body which I don't really like but I mean I'm gonna keep them for time well they're green I'm gonna wear them still but would I repurchase them probably not now these moomoos right here that I live in these skims dresses this one you guys always ask me about she doesn't have on her website anymore she does have the blue one and a black one I think but it's the lace nightgown this one has roses all over it i would buy like 20 more of these i absolutely love them love 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 them the only thing that i don't like about them is the straps are too long for me because i'm short i'm like five foot and they're always falling down i'm not gonna go get them tailored because they're a nightgown but i wish they did stay up better so they weren't always slipping but i have that in like three colors blue white and then the rose and then I also got her red pajamas. These are the Madal and Spandex. Okay, I like the material, the Madal material. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Better than cotton. It's nicer than cotton. It's in my opinion. And then also has the spandex in it that makes it stretchy. But something that my dad used to always tell me is if you're going to buy a man's t-shirts, you should buy him the Madal fabric because it lasts longer and it's just a nicer fabric. And yeah, I really like these red pajamas. They're stretchy. They're flowy. I'm pretty sure it's kind of like the same as the dresses. I don't think the dress material is on the tag in the back. Oh, it might be. Let me see. Yeah, these are made of the same thing. It's a Madal and spandex. So maybe if you're looking for like a dupe, instead of searching like Skims dupe, if you wanted something similar, search the material that the clothes are made out of. Um, and then yeah. Okay. I don't remember which. Okay, this is the nylon and elastine. I don't remember exactly which actual specific t-shirt brand this is but i do like this shirt for the summertime because it is breathable the only thing you have to keep in mind though is i ordered the tank tops because they are see-through so you can't just wear it with like nothing under it like this cotton t-shirt i could get away with probably like not wearing a bra you 
I probably still should if I'm going out of the house but with this even if you wear a bra if you don't want to see the bra you should still wear a tank top so I do have the tank tops to go underneath these I really like these for summertime they're lightweight I have the matching biker shorts and if you know me you know that's all I wear in the summertime so I probably would repurchase these again another brand that I like that has t-shirts and shorts that's a little bit of a thicker material if you want thicker and not see-through if you feel like that's more bang for your buck my outfit online has some really cute sets that are not see-through and I wear those in the summertime as well. I'm trying to think what else I have. Okay, this collection from Kim, I really liked when I initially tried it on. This was her, I can't remember. I can't remember, but it's like the scrunch butt. Okay, one of the pants that I had, this part, but like the seam broke. And so I had to just basically toss them because it doesn't look right anymore when I put the pants on because all of the scrunching is not there. So I don't like that because they are expensive. Okay, give it me. And then, I don't know, like I think they're really cute and they're really flattering. It just depends what look you're going for. At first I thought it was like really cute. It, Cause it like, it does flatter my body well. Like it makes my stomach look flatter cause it like sucks you in cause it's got this large waistband and then it emphasizes your curves and your butt but honestly like wear for me as a mother is that the most appropriate thing to wear no wear you know what i'm saying so it's like i like it it's cute the top i would i wouldn't repurchase just because the material is nice and it's thick and these ones are not see-through but it's almost just like if i sized up it would be too big but a small is just a little too tight and so i just it just feels a little too tight if that makes sense i don't know how to explain it so anyways that's pretty much all the stuff that i have i just have different variations and colors and multiples of all of these different collections and stuff so yeah i have a couple bathing suits by her as well that i really like all of my summer stuff is put away but her long sleeve bathing suit tops biker shorts bottoms sports bras and all that i really did like those only thing about the sports roll top on the, some of the swimsuits is I feel like they're like a little bit too low. The nips, they be slipping. Okay. But anyways, I just wanted to do that because, I don't know, like, I just wanted to get my opinion. I've been a skim swearer for a while and I always get comments a little like here and there about like, oh, what are you wearing? And then I'm like, it's skims. And people are like, oh, skims is overrated. Or, I like, you know, so anyways, yeah, that's where I'm at on my pretty much pajamas and then her cotton t-shirts i really like just as like basics but also could you probably get basic t-shirts that are similar to your fellow probably probably but the pajamas i'm gonna die on a hill on okay there <laughs> anyways all right back to laundry i'm pretty much done folding everything it's less than i thought it was gonna be but now i have to put away and i don't really want to put it away which i don't think i'm going to i think i'm gonna put my stuff away i'm gonna wait for aaron and then aaron can put away the kid's stuff and his stuff because he's just better at it you know what i'm saying we kind of have like this unspoken rule it's like he does laundry and i do dishes okay it's very rarely either of us will do the other thing but today i have some extra time so i was like okay let's get it done but usually he's laundry and i'm dishes so i'm just helping you know what i'm saying and I don't like when he pulls my clothes, I don't like when he folds my clothes, but I digress. I'm about to just put away my stuff and then I'm gonna lay the rest of these over here. I was about to hang up my clothes in my closet, but then getting off task. One thing about me is I'm gonna procrastinate cleaning up, okay, all day. But I just wanted to show you guys. How I've been using my little purse storage or like purse dump thing that somebody gave me the idea for. So basically when I change purses, I like dump everything into this little bucket and then pick out what I need or am going to transfer over to the next one. So y'all, not me not being a diaper bag mom, but now that I have older kids, I feel like I have to actually carry a big bag whenever I go out everywhere. So like little bag purse me days. Is like coming to an end and that's all i have is little bags okay besides i got this one and i have my tote bags but this is what i've been carrying lately because it's like everywhere we go i need something in the bag like whether it's caterades ipads nintendos whatever i've been just needing to carry a little bit of a larger bag so i'm switching back over to this bag so in it sunglasses i guess i should keep them in the car but i don't of course hand sanitizer 
by Touchland. I found this cute wallet off Amazon. Y'all know I was having like that wallet debate. And I still have my other one. But I'm just not going to carry it everywhere so i got this little wallet here and i need to put an air tag in it but it's cute it had a little chain thing on it so you can hook your keys on but i lost it under the car seat and it broke so this dior lip oil is my lip purse lip gloss which i've actually really been enjoying a hair clippy because why not a secondary lip gloss just in case and then i had some perfume in there because this is what i've been wearing the kaoli eden juicy apple which i might just leave in my purse because I need to buy the full size. I think I actually like this. I think I want to get the full size, so I'm just going to keep the travel size in my purse. And then a little bit of Vaseline. It's been dry and cold, and the boy's skin has been, like, just dry, so keeping Vaseline to reapply. Wipes. What else? Okay, and then lastly, AirPods. A charger. This is the iWalk charger. And then nail glue in case one of my press-ons come out come out i really should put one of my dividers oh keys i need to put my keys on here i actually have like a whole key thing but i don't keep them on there i should because i'm always looking for them okay everything else that's like left in here is like random five dollars i'm gonna put that back in here and then everything else i need to sort back and like put in the actual place that it goes in i had some snacks in my purse but I really just need to stock the car back up and put some snacks in the car. Okay, now we've got our purse packed. I love these glasses. I want to get some new colors in these frames. I really want to go get my prescription lenses put in these glasses because right now they're just like the stand, like the blue light glasses. But I need to wear my prescription. So while we're in here, do a little monthly empties. I thought I was gonna have more than this, but. I don't. This, of course, there's a little bit left in there now, but this is the La Roche Thermal Spring Water. I love this stuff. I use this to like hydrate my skin, and then I put my hyaluronic acid or snail mucin on top of it, which was another one of my empties. Both of these I repurchased and am still using, so I would say 10 10 would recommend Slay. And then this, I'm also still using the Cetaphil Moisturizer Plus 30 SPF. It does break me out. It's lightweight. It's a sunscreen and a moisturizer, so it's like two steps in one. And yeah, I mean, I've gone through a whole bottle and I repurchased another one, so 1010 would recommend. Another one. Okay, emptied this out. The toothpaste from Lush, repurchased again, so I would say this is like my third or fourth one. Love this. And then the next thing was just like these press ons. These are from the Beats Heart box. They're not. The super viral ones but i'll link these in case you guys are curious they're the reusable ones that they have and i do like them however i've been using glamnetic and i have to say i think i'm gonna stick with glamnetic this time around these nails have actually not popped off and i've had them on for a couple of days they haven't chipped no paint has come off of them they haven't lifted at all like nothing and i use the glamnetic glue and then obviously their press-ons and it's looking good it's looking good so i think that's what i'm gonna stick with to be honest but now i can toss all these in the trash since, since i told the girls but yeah i'm just about to hang up my clothes in the closet i really need to do like a closet clean out because i feel like i do a closet clean out but then i never get rid of stuff because i'm like oh i might actually need this at some point but like low-key i don't even know like what's over here on this side of my closet to be honest but needless to say we've got to hang it all up or hang up what we have so i'm gonna roll the cart in here i actually really don't feel like doing that right now It's a toss up with hanging stuff up in the closet, but I really just, I don't feel like it. I think I need a lunch break because I'm starting to just like, you know, when you start to decline, it's like, okay, we just need to pause, re motivate ourselves. So I think I'm gonna take some lunch, chill out for a little bit, and then come back to 
I mean, I picked up the trash. So. I can't barely see y'all. I can't barely see. I can't see y'all. But we're about to head into Target. It's obviously the next day. Nothing eventful happened yesterday. But it's been a while since we've been to Target for just like a vibe to look around. I do have like two actual things I have to get. We're actually going out of town to my nephew's birthday party this weekend, which is in Austin. And I ordered his gifts off of Amazon but I need to wrap them so I need to go get wrapping paper and or bags or something like that so that's what we're going in Target for but we're also just gonna see what's in there you know do a vibe check <laughs> do a vibe check look around for a little while and then probably just pick up some lunch head home go into our nighttime routine and stuff I didn't cook dinner last night because I just didn't end up feeling like it but I marinated my steaks so I'm gonna cook tonight and I've got them all in the fridge marinating so Let's go. First stop, always in the dollar or three dollar section. But I feel like every time I come, they never have anything good in here. No. I don't know what these are. The cutest thing I see is nothing really. I love some popcorn bowls. Okay. Since we're simply here for a vibe, I'm gonna start all the way in the very back of the store because I really want a new pair of slippers but last time I came they didn't have any slippers so I'm like okay slippers and they have the bathing suits already who has their spring break vacation planned because I need to start okay they don't have slippers but my favorite pair of slides that I wear all the time I got from here and they still have them they look like this I wear them a lot in the summer the music is loud. I don't see any slippers. Why do they not have slippers? I'm trying to think if we need anything for our trip while we're out of town. If I should get like. Mm, shopping bags, the music is loud. Okay, he's turning seven. Let's get a seventh birthday card. I got are like not that big. I want something cute. Mm -hmm. Okay, here's one cute thing. This one or this one? I'm leaning towards this one. They have a lot of cute pieces in here and I'm looking for stuff that matches or to go on the shelves in the living room but I just don't know how to mix and match. That's the problem. Like these are cute. 
But how many vases can you have? I'm really liking the blue colors that they have for like the spring collection they just dropped. Oh, this little plant is so cute. It's giving me your come down with me. I don't know where I would put it. Okay, this kind of stuff is actually really cute. Okay, 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 okay. Hold, hold, hold. A little eyeglass. It's getting antique. I can't really get, does that mean my eye look big? I can't tell. This is so cute. It tells the time, but not the time, like the date. It's so cute. I need big items though. I think I'm gonna get this. Because you stack books on it. And I feel like this will help take up a lot of space on one of the shelves. Construction in the middle of the day. Okay, these are book blocks. This, this is not one. This is not one. I think this is also Please don't take this personal But you ain't shit You ain't special Till I made you so You better act like you know That I've been through worse to you What about a cloak? Reverse, reverse, reverse Can't keep running away But I don't need you I don't need you I don't need you I don't need you We're out of Target, but obviously it was like super noisy and loud in there. I don't know what kind of construction they were doing in there. So, I was like, just give it up, girl. But, I did want to do a little haul while we're in the car before I go home. Because, you know, just switch up the vibe. Sometimes a haul in the car is more fun. I got three of these baskets. Y'all know it's about to be Valentine's Day. And I was going to do this a little bit closer to Valentine's Day, but I was like, might as well do it while the stuff is still there because things will go. And then before you know it, as soon as February actually comes, they're going to have the Easter stuff out or St. Patrick's Day. So I got three little baskets for the boys. Let me put my purse back here. Okay. I feel like it's hard doing Valentine's Day basket for boys if you want to be on like a boy colorish theme. So this year I just was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get what I think they would like and what I think that was cute and it doesn't have to be this perfect aesthetic. I am also gonna throw them a little Valentine's Day party on Valentine's Day when they come home from school that Wednesday. Just cause, I don't know, I just feel like it's something nice. Like they'll have one at school, but I just wanna do something small, decorating cupcakes or like watching a movie together and opening their baskets. It's probably not gonna be like long and drawn out, but I'm just gonna like decorate the dining room table a little bit. And yeah, so I ended up finding these cute little things at Target. This is a three set of Play-Doh. So I obviously got three of everything. I'm not gonna take all three of them out of the bag. And then this one is super cute too. It got sand in there. So there's red, green, and blue. And then I got a tablecloth for the dining room table because what I'm gonna do is if you've seen on like Pinterest or I don't know maybe TikTok I've actually done this before if I can find some old pictures of it I'll try to insert it but back in 2019 I decorated our island kitchen in our apartment with loading roses so you hang them from the ceiling and I thought that would be so cute to do on our dining room table as some cute little Valentine's Day decor because I'm personally not hosting or throwing a Valentine's Day party but if I was I thought that would be super cute but even though I'm not I'm like I can still do it so I got a little red and I think it's red and kind of has like some lined pink um tablecloth there and then I got them a bubble bath this is the bubble bath that they all love and use so I figured that would be something cute but practical to put in their basket and then I got some cupcakes like I said I'm gonna make cupcakes and do a whole little thing or whatever I got them some Gatorade cups. These are not for their basket. These are actually for basketball season. 
it's just a little bit easier for them to drink out of the spout instead of like a Gatorade bottle or something so I'll just pour their juice into here and then okay I don't know if you guys remembered but I think it was around Halloween time I did spooky baskets but I just did bags and I got them like little things and they only had one of these spider-man bowl sets so I ended up getting two more because they were fighting over them when I got them and they always fight over the spider-man bowl and we only have one now because one broke so I was like yeah I'm just gonna get these and put them in my basket as well and then I got them these little Valentine's Day chocolate boxes one of them is adventure one of them spider-man and then one of them is teddy bear from mellow if I can get to it I'll show y'all and then I got them three different books they love books I feel like all kids love books but I got the hard one like hard page books from mellow so he doesn't like rip the pages or eat them this one is the love monster happy valentine's day mouse a lot of the valentine's day books i already have because i usually put one in their basket every year but this one is new i s it's love from crayons which i thought was cute so yeah and my boy carter he can basically read now so he's really into the whole book thing and then i got them some pink sour punch straws we got lollipops just some like candy to throw in there some tic tacs and then baby bottle pops these are literally my favorite growing up as a kid i love baby bottle pops i know my phone was ringing child but i don't know where it is oh here it is who is this it just my baby daddy i feel like y'all know men are so i feel like men always swear that women are so like where you at calling you as soon as you leave the house no men call you 20 times when you leave the house like i swear i can tell this man where i'm going how long i'm gonna be when i'm gonna be back and he's still gonna call me while i'm out running my errands it never fails he is going to call me sir sir <laughs> i mean i don't mind but i just feel like men are always trying to like make it seem like the other way around like if he goes out i'm not calling you I'm not texting you. I'm not saying nothing to you. You know what I'm saying? I'm about to uh, have me a, a self-care day or something. Okay. If I have the house to myself or I'm on. Oh. Yeah. Turn up. Okay. This is so cute. They only had one of these left or I would have got all three of them. The same thing. But yeah. I'm sure they're going to be fighting over this. But I'm probably going to give it to Carson and give Carter the Avengers. Because Carson is more uh, like really hones in and on spider-man but carter likes a lot of the marvel characters okay and then i also got this paint i think i'm actually going to use this tonight because i've been craving a brookie like brownie cookies and i haven't made it in a long time so i think when i go home i'm gonna start the batter maybe already just like go ahead and make it so i don't have to do it later in the evening when i'm a little bit tired because i've been i don't know i've just been having a lot of lack of energy lately and it's like high low it's like one week i'm like super woman and the next week i'm like baby i don't even want to get out the bed but i'm learning to just i say this all the time but like life as an adult i feel like is so much harder to navigate than people make it seem and so like if i feel like i'm redundant or i beat myself it's just because i'm literally learning my life and i'm trying to find what is normal what is not normal like as a kid you just have like a ton of energy you can go 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 and the older you get it's just like your energy depletes and then like, i have bursts of it sometimes and then other times not okay so like one week we might be here another week we might be here you know what i'm saying so yeah I'm also just in a season of like finding myself again and like rediscovering what I want to do in life and all of that will come in a couple of vlogs or so we're going to be like trying out new hobbies but I've also been talking about or thinking about going back to school so I'm also in the process of like navigating that and so I have a lot of things going on just like in my head which is so random in this target hole but yeah anyways we're gonna make brekkies and maybe have a midlife crisis I got these little cupcake liners to put the cupcakes in and then also just some pink icing and then I'm gonna probably dip some strawberries as well so I got some chocolate for that so that's everything I'm basically gonna hide all of this stuff in my room and then you know what it'll be out of the way i'm exactly almost it's like what the 16th or something 17th like a month prepared for valentine's day which is what i said i wanted to do anyways i want to start being prepared for stuff like a little bit before the actual time comes and then i feel like it's less pressure and less stress when the time does come i'm just already prepared so 
period i need to put something on my lips because they're dry it's so cold out here and so i'm like wondering why target is empty because y'all know after the pandemic nobody went back to work okay nobody has a job and so target be popping any time of the week any time of the day like it doesn't matter but today it was dry and i think it's because it's cold outside and people are scared of the cold out here but it actually is like really cold i don't know it feels like it's like 20 or 30 degrees it's it's 31 it's freezing i think that about wraps it up all the home decor that i showed you guys i didn't end up actually getting it i put it in my car and then i was like you're gonna go home and you're not gonna like this I need to like put a little bit more thought and effort into it and maybe make something virtual like take a picture of my bookshelves and then because you can like do the AI with the stuff at Target to like see what it looks like in your space and then kind of just pick from that because or else like I won't like it and I won't return it I'll end up putting it in a closet somewhere and then just it'll be a waste so I'm gonna be a little bit more intentional about decorum okay and I also want to go look at some other places too like home goods and I feel like the TJ Maxx and the Marshalls that I've been to in this area they don't really have a lot of home decor pieces I feel like the TJ Maxx and the Marshalls at least the ones that I've been to are more clothing items a little shoe and then they have like a small home decor section but I know we do have pretty big home goods stores and there's an at home a little bit further up north so once I kind of figure out what my theme and my colors because right now i'm feeling like i have a sad beige house and i don't want to have a sad beige house i'm not in my sad beige era anymore like i want a little bit of color everything in there is just super neutral but i don't really know what color scheme i want to go with or like how to play around with the color so i just want to think about it a little bit more so the plan is to go pick up a little bit lunch and then go home and cooking we don't have a lot on the agenda today besides maybe a little bit of laundry later i'm trying to make like wednesdays fridays and mondays like a little laundry day so i'm probably gonna do a load i might not fold it today but at least i need to wash multiple times a week that's what i've learned about myself is you need to wash multiple times a week in order to like keep up with five people's laundry in a house because it just gets backed up and overwhelming and then it takes too long to get through it in one day because you have to run obviously multiple cycles and those take hours at a time to do large loads so even if i don't fold and i fold just on like one day a week i need to be washing multiple times so i'm gonna try to put the clothes in the wash today and then we're just gonna be cooking and that's pretty much it it's not really that exciting of a week until this weekend when we go out of town i don't really have much planned i'm on a decline week so hopefully next you know next week new week new us but this week's just very much giving chill vibes okay welcome to the unboxing part of the vlog again because i think i already opened stuff on monday with you guys but the rest of my stuff came in i'm so excited oh there's one more package all right I believe the rest of this stuff is like the scrapbooking stuff that I got to do my Bible scrapbooking. Oh, this is my t-shirt. This is my Lank Check t-shirt. I'm going to put this on before I wash my hair so we can track my growth. And then I decided I'm going to try this new thing where every month I'm going to use different hair growth products plus tips and tricks or remedies to grow your hair and see which one grows my hair the longest in between having braids. Carter's playing 2K even though he doesn't know how to play. <laughs> So if y'all hear him and then Aaron's taking a shower and he has the, ma the music blasting and the house is just getting very chaotic, but it's how we love it. Okay. Everybody's having a good time, but doing their own thing. Okay. What's next? We've got, okay. These are sheets of paper that I got for my scrapbooking journal and they're just like different textures of paper and you can like cut them and layer them. If you've never seen anything like this, just search on TikTok scrapbooking and then you'll understand why I got this. But it's like a multi-pack of neutral colors. I'm obsessed. This one is like, oh, this is snow and this is snowflakes. How stinky cute is that? Boom. All right. This, I didn't know it was going to be this color, but that's okay. I thought it was going to be more like a light pastel blue, but you know, it works. It works. It works. This is my, are the pages blue too? Oh no. Okay, I might have to return this or exchange it for something else. I don't want blue sheets. I thought just the cover was blue, <laughs> but the sheets are blue. Anyways, it's a scrapbooking journal though, so it's got these cardboard pages, and this is essentially what I want. 
this dude right here is tripping. I kind of wanted something similar to this for my prayer journal, but this is not exactly it. So we're going to have to look again for something else. Again, I thought the cover was going to be like this light blue and I was going and the sheets were white, but that's okay. Anyways, we need a scrapbook of some sort. I caved. I got the Lemmy Sleep. I did try the Sleepy Girl Mocktail that everybody has been talking about and it definitely relaxes you and makes you feel sleepy, but it didn't like knock me out because I have insomnia. I can't fall asleep at night, like seriously. <laughs> and so I'm going to try the Lemmy in conjunction maybe with the Sleepy Girl Mocktail. We'll see. Oh, I got those off the Amazon. Color your life. Yeah. I can't hear you. Okay, I'll come look out in a second. Carson's playing this shooting game. It's not dead because I just put fresh batteries in it, but I'm gonna see what he's talking about. He might have it might have turned off. Okay. Then I got all of these little tapes so I can tape my papers, you know, when I'm doing my aesthetic scrapbooking, you need little tapes so you can, you know, tape it on there. Okay, I got way more colors though. I'm keeping everything in this little container right now but it also came with these neutral or pastel pinkish reddish earthy tones and then it also came with this color roll as well i'm really excited about this and i hope this hobby lasts more than five seconds but i really am just in the era of rediscovering things that i like outside of going to target and shopping so Okay, this is also not what I was looking for. So, so far I have two things that I need to return and I'm trying to do better about actually returning things this year. So I'm gonna actually probably take them back. I'll probably have to look for something in person at Target because this is just off Amazon. But I wanted something that I could put like a keep save of like private prayers in or this be my answered prayer kind of little folder so that way like when I have a prayer and it can either be in my scrapbook journal or it can be like I really want the scrapbook to be like pieces of paper I can take out and then fold together and like kind of put it as a letter to God or keep a collection of it but then I also wanted something to store my answered prayers because I feel like that's really important too like once we get stuff I think we stop focusing on what we got and we go straight to the next thing that we're asking for or that we're wanting for and we don't ever really take a pause to just be grateful for the reality that we're living in for things that we already prayed for so anyways this is supposed to be way bigger than this this is too small so another return okay there's this big box sitting right here next to me and I have no idea what could be inside of it got some envelopes and the envelopes were again supposed to be for answered prayers or letters to God or prayers for others and I actually started it in my phone so I'll show you guys kind of what I'm talking about but these were essentially supposed to be able to fit into here but obviously that's not gonna work so I'm gonna have to find something a little bit larger and then the envelope came with these cute like wax faux wax seals that you can put on to seal the envelope closed so i thought those were cute but i really want to start just like i pray a lot like i pray a lot but i want to start like and then like maybe like once a month open up what i pray for and then we can like see like okay do we need to keep praying on this was any of these prayers answered and that kind of thing so it came with a pretty decent amount maybe i need to see how many there is maybe i could just do like one a day we'll see okay finding a personality outside of shopping okay i also wanted this for the scrapbooking and prayer journal and just in general i uh already have the polaroid camera but i didn't have any film so i got some more film for it so that way okay so like my categories for praying is obviously like family goals things like that but then I have them broken down friends and family like I have prayers written down for like each person so like when I make my prayer page about them I'm gonna like put a little picture on there with cute you know just like we're making a hobby out of praying okay and then what is this oh this is a cloud 
amplifier thing. It's nothing, nothing cute. It's just for the podcast, for the mics and stuff to kind of amplify the sound. We're going to try a new setup. So I had to get this in order to do it. But anyways, I'll just leave it right here so I can try to set it up a little bit later. Okay, I have one more box, but I need something to open it up. Is this only one? Oh no, it's two. Okay, this is also for the pod. So maybe I'll show you guys my setup tomorrow when we record. If you're interested on how I record for the podcast. But I got these new arms in because I wanted to try. Well, I just basically want to try a new setup for the podcast. So I had ordered a couple of new things. Shout out to y'all because you really did your big one on the podcast. And I deeply, deeply, deeply from the bottom of my heart appreciate it <laughs> okay it's cleanup time i'm kind of sad about not having my right journal but it's okay it's okay it's okay we don't even know how long this hobby is really gonna last anyways i should put this shirt on right now i ordered it in a size medium which y'all think i'm at yes upper back action or hang time i feel like i'm in between like these first two levels right here should we put it on right now i could just put it on over this shirt documenting this is our january length check i probably won't have another length check till march because the next hairstyle i'm getting in i'm keeping it or at least i'm gonna try to keep it for a while Ooh, i got a medium and it's tight it did look small, but I'm glad I didn't get a small. I'm so glad I got a medium. I should have got a large. Okay, let's see. Do I need to brush it down some more? Or what? I'm sitting up straight. I should have probably brushed my hair properly, but where are we at? I guess I won't see until I'm editing. Okay, anyways, let me take this off because it is tight. Hopefully I don't gain any more weight because then I ain't going to be able to use this shirt for measurements. Were we touching a line? That's the question. Hopefully I'll get some energy to do this later tonight, but if not... It is what it is. I can't decide how I'm going to cook my steaks if I want to air fry them. Because steaks in the air fry is really good, actually. Like, don't sleep on an air fried steak, okay? Or pan sear them. I feel like it's a little bit harder to cook them just right that way. But probably because I'm not a professional steak cooker. I need to get a meat thermometer because I feel like that's the only way you can really get a steak, like, perfect. Is if you have... A meat thermometer and then you know the temperature and that way you know when it's done or like what level you want it cooked at for the inside if you like it like medium well stuff like that okay two returns the rest of the stuff to the garage i'm probably not going to start on dinner for a little while because it was carter's early day today so i think it's only like three or four we were playing around the house for a little while that's what my life they just don't ever film it we've been playing nerf war and adventure Six going on. Sixteen. That ain't none of my beats. <laughs> I really want to go outside. Let's go outside. Let me tell you guys about... Sorry, the washer's going. The dreams that live in my head rent-free every day. I gotta put shoes on. If you have kids that are uninterested in playing sports, 
have them watch a movie about sports and they'll be so much more interested carter was never big in basketball like he likes playing football but not basketball and then they watched the um it's lebron james but it was a michael jordan original what is it called y'all know what i'm talking space jam and now they're like obsessed with basketball and it's the cutest thing ever so anyways welcome to mckenna's delulu where we are <sighs> Hopefully trying to turn the space that I'm standing into right now into a pool by the summer. Now, should we have already started if we were gonna do this by the summer? Yes, but, you know, that's why I said Delulu. It, it could happen, it could not, but yeah. Well, we've really been deciding if we wanna move or not. Stay or move, stay or move. Move somewhere with a pool, stay. Because we could always keep this house, rinse it out, move somewhere else, get a house with a pool, and then not pay all the money to put a pool in here. You know what I'm saying? But I don't know, it's just something we go back and forth uh, like a lot, but both of us really want to stay here, but we also are open to moving, so it's kind of just a hard decision. And that's why we haven't started contracting for a pool yet, but I think in these next couple of weeks, we're gonna start going to basically interview contractors and companies for pools, looking at what the timeline would be, what the cost would be, and all of that. But it would really be nice to have a pool in here in the summertime, especially for the boys, because we're all water babies. I mean, I just, it would be my dream, like my literal, it would be my dream to have a pool here. And then I would probably never leave the house, like seriously. So that being said, I need my little mic so I can walk away. Okay, so with that being said, pool, 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 the pool would probably be from like, we wouldn't probably do any more concrete besides what goes around the pool because I feel like we have a good enough patio space. So the pool would probably start like right there where the patio ends and then we'd obviously put up some type of safety proofing, so like a gate or something. And then also we want to do decking. I cannot stand how flat the back of the house looks. I don't like the flat look. It's not coming. But no, it's kind of like we're waiting on like God's timing and his plans because I think I've told you guys this a lot of times before, but there's a lot next door that's for sale. And if we stay here, we have to be able to expand at least a little bit, have another bedroom at least or something. Um, Cause something we just started thinking about as we get older and our moms get older is one, if not both of our moms are eventually probably going to live with us. So another reason why we kind of want to stay here is just there's so much potential here. I know y'all really don't be thinking that this is that big, but it really, it really is a lot of space. If you came like all the way back here, which I'm so proud of myself because I used to be so scared to walk back here and we need a water because the ground is cracking. Okay, this is all the way from the back of the fence up to the house. That is a ways away. So even if you put something small here, but long wise, we've thought about investing in a tiny house for our parents and putting it back here or even like I know some people if you don't want to, if you don't get it you don't get it but there are really nice double wides okay or a single wide um trailers that are like ready to build and they don't look like what a lot of people think a trailer would look like not that there's anything wrong with the trailer because it's really not it's just like this stigma that people put on them but they'd be costing money and they'd be expensive and they'd be nice but anyways we could definitely fit one here and if we have another lot we could even go further out onto there um not saying all this would happen this year but in my delulu it would i would love that i would love for one of our moms to be able to come stay with us because i just feel like it would allow it we would just function better as a family i think if we had extra hands and help around the house especially with things that aaron is getting into even if you know if you watch the podcast then you know about that too so that's a whole nother thing but just for us to have like extra help it would be nice for one of our moms to be able to live here they're both kind of my mom will be an empty nester next year and then Aaron actually has a little brother who has special needs and so he does technically still live with his mom but he's an adult now so she's kind of empty kind of not so it's just like anyways it would be nice to have somebody that way it's really windy and cold let me just go inside but it would just be nice to have oh and I want a new fence okay so add that to the to Lulu list I want a new fence it's so cold my lips white it's like windy and I keep licking them 
anyways we want a really tall fence but yeah it would be nice for one of them to live with us because then i would have the flexibility of being able to leave the house and go do things at different times i feel like me i could go especially with aaron back like do things after the kids get home but i don't really want to because i don't want to leave them here but it's anyways there's things that are coming up new endeavors new things that aaron's getting into and i want to be able to go to those things and support him while he's at those things but without having three kids attached to my hip and so just for stuff like that and to just be able to have a little bit more just help you know what i'm saying i would love for one of them to be able to come live with us so and unfortunately the house that we have right now is just it's not big enough to accommodate all of us it's not really that big of a house in general which we knew when we moved in but we had the thoughts of like okay we can put something here or we can expand here but we just didn't know really what the timeline of that was going to look like so the first thing that we're going to get though is a pool <laughs> because that's what i want really bad <laughs> it's a pool so we did a lot of saving after we moved in so we saved for a down payment and then when we moved in here and we had the backyard we're like okay we need to get a pool so we have saved for a pool so i'm hoping that we'll be able to get a pool this year um but we're also just trying to like make sure our investments are right and if we do like want to invest into this house that it's somewhere that we will stay for the next forever you know what i'm saying forever so, so i just wanted to share my the lulu dreams what Did you? Are you the Lakers? Yeah. Or are you Boston? Are you dribbling the ball right now? No, I wasn't. Oh, okay. I do have one. Okay, it's crazy. Once you have a functioning yes, child in your house that can like read and write, that's when it gets scary. I'm about to go take a warm bath prepare myself for the nighttime before I do the kids nighttime routine so I think I told y'all that I've started doing that as my renewable thing I'll take my bath first do my skincare get myself ready for bed and then it's kind of out of the way and then I can make dinner and then just chill but it also helps me take care of myself and like get in the actual self-care that I need to do and like lotion and all those things that I don't feel like doing after I cook dinner did the dishes and all that stuff so. can you stop standing on my couch please like you've lost your mind thank you She found a time in the wind, she can't even see me in the wind, she can't. She found a flight in the wind, she can't. She found a flight in the way out of here. She found a flight in the wind, she can't even see me in the way out of here. I'm too far in the sky. Hermes, Ash, for the dark, my ash. Bitch, so pretty, little better than Cassie. Puffing on Zooters, and she calling me daddy. Walking on shit, turn it up, and I guess. Came out the gutter, they ain't never me the swagger. Secure the bag, got a bitch, I'm a beggar. Turning it up, got a ratio, she good. Parking two million and building my hood. Making no mud, I made out of the sewer. Pro hard accessories, whatever, I'm good. A lot of these niggas, they looking the same. They copping my lingo, they biting my chain. Membership, championship, I just gon' empty shit. Bitch, break a nigga, they look at the key. Turn it to Phantom, but make it account of the rookie. This money, like, keep my religion. This could be a man, they're sad, if any of these niggas, they try to compare with him. I did. Them that touched a hundred to piss up the gig. That came out the drunk of the kidnapping kid. I turned by the bellows, been turned on the crib. But look at the ocean, it's my 30 M. For me, apologies for the wait. Sometimes it's hard to make the distractions up off you. For enough time to jot your thoughts, but fuck it, this morning I got to. I'm thinking about you. I heard you just had your another little babe. Congratulations. I hope you got through it. Find it amazing. Hello. <laughs> okay, today is Thursday and. I'm kind of on my like little lunch break. We finished filming technically the third episode of the podcast today, but the second to everybody who doesn't join the member member membership club. Anyways, I'm not even gonna get into all that, but check out the podcast. I kind of on like a little break, a lunch break before it's time to go get the kids and get into the whole nighttime stuff. So I'm gonna try on this stuff that I ordered y'all now. I'm big twenty 
fine this year okay but i've been trying to just like elevate my wardrobe a little bit but also be realistic so if you watched the last vlog what was the vlog before last yeah when i was trying to figure out what clothes i wanted to wear and all those kind of vibes it just wasn't going very well trying to mix and match pieces so i got some sets and some dresses now the dresses are for special occasions i also got two dresses in here that are potentially my birthday dress options because i'm planning on having this big party for my birthday or something cute some some cute like something grown it's sexy vibes one of the dresses you guys have already seen on me if you watched i don't know how many vlogs ago but it's that red dress from house of cd that i tried on in the fitting room but didn't end up getting because i thought the medium was too small but then i ended up getting the medium but i feel like i've gained like 10 pounds so now i don't know if the medium will fit at all discussion for another day. <laughs> but i need to try them on before the return window closes because if they're too small we can take back so I got this dress, this is the red one, I don't know if I'm going to try it on again or not, and I got two black, or a black and a white one, and then I also got these sets from JLux label, it's giving winter vibes, okay, and then I got a set from Meshki as well, and I just wanted to try it on real quick, so I'm going to do it with y'all, so first off, okay. Okay, this is cute. I actually really like it. I feel like it's a little loose so it doesn't suck you in anywhere you would want to be sucked in. So I'll probably wear some shapewear. I'm trying to suck my stomach in a little bit right now. But I think it's cute. It had a little shapewear on. I got the teeniest, tiniest little, these love handles. You know, it's just that little bit right there. But I think it's cute. The back is all the way out and then you're supposed to tie these strings right here. But I'm not going to do that just for the sake of tying and untying. I just wanted to try it on and see what the fit was like. I am five foot. And so it doesn't, I have it like here on my waist. So you could definitely probably like make it lower if you were taller and you wanted to hang long. But I like that it hangs long, but it's not dragging on the ground. Because then if I want to wear sandals, I can wear sandals. Or I can wear a little kitten heel. I don't wear nothing higher than that, okay? But this is getting cute date night. Like, purr. I feel like I, mm, the back, maybe not getting away with it for church because I would have to wear like no bra probably because the back is all the way out. But she cute. She could also be a vacation look. It's very light. It's not see-through, but it's light. It might be a little see-through. It's cute though. I really like this. Ow. Purr. Okay. Next outfit. That was me trying to make a transition. Next outfit. This one is from JLux label. It's kind of like, it's cute. It's like a little bit dressy, but still casual. I will say the legs are long. Even if I wore like a little kitten heel, they would drag and I have it like pulled pretty high up. So if I, if I really wanted to, I would probably get the bottoms tailored and a little bit shorter because they're just super long now i looked at the size on the top and the top says the top size says extra small so i don't know if that was maybe what i got from reading the reviews or the sizing guide i don't i don't think that the pants could be an extra small because i just don't see i'm not extra small i'll tell you that much okay i've actually gained a lot of weight recently like my weight fluctuates a lot just within the month my with my cycle and stuff my weight is always just like really up and down but it's asymmetrical so like this side is up this side is down i think it's cute i did get it in two colors because i apparently thought it was really cute online so i also have it in this oatmeal color which i think i might like a little bit better the lighter color but do i think it, it was two sets buy worthy as far as the fit on me no probably still wear like a little shapewear or something underneath it just to feel a little bit more comfortable i mean it doesn't really need it for the black but probably for the lighter color but yeah i think it's cute again a little boot a little heel a little sun this i could probably get away with wearing church honestly this could be cute i mean it's covering everything it's not see-through at least i don't think i'm trying to get up close to the mirror she comfortable she's getting sophisticated casual lunch brunch baggy Okay, it looks good. It looks real. I probably wouldn't wear it to church because the way 
it really is eating up my butt in the back but it looks good <laughs> look she looks fat okay <laughs> anyways this yeah we'll give it i'll give it about a six out of ten okay i don't really want to try on the other one because it's the same exact concept color whatever yeah with a little shapewear because for me it's like where the band be like it's more of my side profile because then wherever the band is it like sucks in that but then like you can see the pooch here and then the top of the belly here that's okay because lipo we're on our way i just got other priorities first but then me and lipo we don't gotta go there real bad <laughs> Okay, I guess it's time for the dresses. I'm really scared to try on the dresses because I honestly just feel like they're not going to fit me and I'm going to be so sad, but if you never try, you never know. Okay, so hold on because I ain't got no panties on. Okay, I just struggled my life way to try to fit in this dress that if I held up to my body, looks like it would fit. But it indeed does not. I'll just stand up here so I still don't got no under one. But basically it's just supposed to be like a little cocktail dress. But the thing with House of CB is they have all these corsets that are giving you wear a size zero in the waist. And I don't. So I'm going to try and see if I can return it and maybe get in a large. Because I do think it's cute. I don't know if it would necessarily be birthday dress. But it's like giving a cute cocktail hour or like winter wedding attire. I don't know. It's cute though. I did like the way it looked on the model. I like the, you can't really see the shape of it because of the way that they make it. So it looks like it would fit, but like the corset on the inside is actually like so small. So anyways, I'm gonna have to size up in it, but then that means I'll probably have to get the shoulders taken in. That's the only thing I don't like about House CB is nothing is like, I can't just buy something out of House CB and it'll just fit. Like I have to get everything from there tailored. I do really like the quality of the items though. Like they are pricier, but the material is actually worth the price. Like they're actually like very well made um, pieces. So. Anyways, I'm gonna see about the white one, but I don't think that was gonna fit either, so. Okay, this one does fit. This is like a super popular dress from House of CB. I think it's the Tilly dress, but I think it's really cute. Does it need to be steamed and ironed? Yes. Does it look like I'm going to a ballet recital? Yes. But is it gonna be cute for the spring for a little date or something? Absolutely. It's giving cute. It's giving cute. So it ties in a bow in the back, but I'm holding the strings because again the only reason I was able to get into this really is because it has like a low zipper in the back so you can step into it because that one I tried to step into didn't work so then I tried to put it over my head still didn't go but I will have to get the top of this um altered so I don't have nip slips like this part and like it's always the this also I don't look at my armpits because they are really hairy and I can't decide if I want to shave or wax so it's getting they're just long right now. They are just long. But anyways, <clears throat> it ties in like a cute bow back here, like at the bottom of the dress. But I can't tie it by myself. So I actually think this is super cute. It's out of my comfort zone because it's like really girly, but I think this would be so cute with some colorful heels, a nice cute little bag, and even like a girl's brunch or like a, I don't know. I don't know. It's cute though. It's really cute. I really like this. It's giving brunch, like a girly tea party brunch. I don't know. It's just, it's giving soft girl. Yeah, okay. <laughs> but no, I really like it. Okay, well, it fits. I mean, it's zipped. It's just too big here. So I'm gonna have to get it altered, but I have to take a couple of things from House of Sea Beats to the alteration place. Don't know my tell. Okay. This is the last one. Hold on. Let me pull it down a little bit. This is the one everybody told me to get when I tried it on last time, but I didn't like it. So I did put a little long shapewear underneath it, and I like the way it fits in this area a little bit better. It's not like perfect, but it is cute. I don't have it zipped all the way in the back just because I can't like zip it all the way up, but it does fit. This is the only dress or thing that I don't think I'll have to get altered. It's a little bit long, but it falls on the right place of my feet where it's not going to drag. And then I'll put a little heel on. This is what I'm going to wear for Valentine's Day. Or at least like dinner. Valentine's Day dinner. I'll have to like iron it out, smooth out all the 
wrinkles steam it or whatever but i think this is so freaking cute it squishes my booty a little bit but it's like yeah it doesn't it, it looks it looks like it all fits together it's i suck in my tummy a little bit it's cute i really like this i like i like this now how am i gonna have my hair that's a different question that's why I'm debating should I keep dark hair? Cause I'm supposed to be getting braids. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all what type of braids I'm getting next. Which is why I don't know what to do. Cause like, I mean, I'll take them out if I don't like them. Cause one thing about me is I'm not gonna keep a hairstyle I don't like. But let me show y'all before y'all. It's like no, cause I know everybody's like, wear your natural hair. Da -da -da because when I come back next year and my hair is long 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 every day what'd you do I left my hair alone I put it in braids okay this is the hairstyle that I'm getting next like this exact color and everything so that's why I'm like maybe I should just stick with dark because I don't know how I'm gonna feel about that red or like auburnish brown color with this dress like I like the dark her you know what I'm saying so I don't know but are these fire it's giving way more like curls than braid. So we're just gonna try it out and see if we like. If we don't, I'm probably just gonna go back to getting, not the type of braids I've been, like boho, I'm gonna probably just go back to getting some like classic knotless braids for the summertime and when it warms up a little bit. Oh, this, when this is zipped up, it really just gives. Boom. It's cute, it really is. It really is so cute. Period. Okay, here's what the shapewear looks like for everybody that's curious. The bra is separate. This is the shapewear in itself, so it goes all the way down. It's got that open gasket, but my only complaints is that I feel like it could be looser in the legs in order to get it up and then tighter here, because I feel like it's almost like looser here and tighter in the legs. And that's not what I'm going for. Like, even if you can tell here, like usually shapewear will like suck all of this and it's kind of not really doing it. It's doing it a little bit, but not as much as I would like it to. So I might look for something else on Amazon because I like the concept of it for that dress that it goes all the way down to the legs. But something about it is just, it could be tighter in the midsection. That's all. And looser in the legs. Like I can't really pull it all the way up because it's too tight like on my inner thighs and stuff and it looks funny on my butt I don't know I don't know thick thighs save lives I was literally like looking at the podcast today editing it and I'm like my back is big and then my armpits were sweating and I was like were you nervous girl my armpits never sweat and I was like I ever had like wet marks under my arms I'm like but I don't be wearing deodorant either like that for real for real or if i'm around the house so i'm gonna be getting lusty but apparently i'd be sweaty that's new i've never seen that before yeah i just we just went filming today and then i have like some clerical work okay <laughs> my work from home job i have to do today i got like emails some content i gotta turn in so one thing I need to do, I need to record on the house to be quiet. So I'm gonna wait like 30 minutes to do it when Aaron leaves. And I think I'm gonna make like lemon pepper chicken thighs tonight for dinner. The steak I made last night, it really was mid. It's cause I tried to cook it on the, the pan, but you need like a cast iron skillet. And I have one, but I just don't like using it cause I feel like it never cooks right in there. Maybe I just need to learn how to use it, I don't know. But I should have just put it in the air fryer to begin with. I feel like it would have been better if it was just like air fried off rip. Cause a little steak in air fryers, I mean it's pretty good it gets it crispy how it needs to be and then you just cook it as long as you want to determine like medium well well done or medium rare whatever so I'm headed back down to my office that was it for my lunch break mm. I need to figure out what I'm, since I'm gonna wear for Valentine's Day too that's been I've been thinking about that a lot lately I think I want to do something cherry like I already have like a little cherry routine and I love this minty cherry lip balm oh my god it smells so so I think I'm gonna do something cherry-ish. I'm the queen of, I'm gonna do that later. So I'm gonna do that later. I'm screaming. 
down to the office. I go. Good morning. Today is travel day. So we're headed to Target to pick up a few last minute items and a drive up order. And then I do have a lash fill appointment, but I'm trying to go to Target, make it back home, pack my stuff, then go to my lash appointment so that by the time I get back, we can just get on the road, get the kids and start going. So <gasps> that's how cold it is. You hear the car creaking. I can't believe it's so cold outside. So yeah, I have everything laid out. I just, all my packing cubes for some reason has disappeared and I need like travel bags to pack my skincare, hair care, etc. And so I placed a drive up order and then Mello and Carson needed swim stuff because it's swimming or indoor, like indoor water park that we're going to. I don't even think I told y'all what, like what we're doing. We're going to Kalahari, which is the same place we went to for Carson's third birthday so it's indoor water park we're not going to get there until like late tonight so tonight when we get there we'll probably just get dinner go to bed and then they have like an arcade thing that we'll probably do in the morning and then the birthday party officially starts at 2 p.m and then we might go to like dinner or hang out with them a little bit after and then we're just getting up and coming back home on sunday because the kids have school and all that good stuff so that is the agenda for the day we're just grabbing this little drive up come home pack I wasn't gonna get my lashes filled until Monday, but I was like, might as well. If I wanna keep up with them, then I need to care about getting them filled or else I'm not gonna have any left. So that is the plan. What's the issue you're calling about? So How can I assist you today? Trying to get in contact with customer service. Okay, I can get you to an agent, but first I use the phone number you are calling from to look up your account. Is that the account you are calling about? Yup. I need to know when they're coming to fix my Wi-Fi, girl. We finally made it. It's like up and down, up and down, up and down. Ju was really tired. We ended up getting here super late. There's a vlog up on my channel somewhere of when we came here last time. But I like this hotel because you've got like fridge, microwave. This is a pull-out sofa, and then you have a second like actual suite with a bathroom here. me of the resort that we stayed at when we went to Disney like the Animal Kingdom vibe is similar to what this hotel looks like almost pretty much the same obviously it's not Disney but the vibes are the same as far as the room and the actual like, hotel which I'll show you guys a little bit later but we have a view of the outdoor pool but it's not open because it's obviously February and it's cold but I would love to come back and actually get to go out there because we didn't get to do that last time either but it's really nice the whole resort is huge there's like fire pits I don't know if y'all can see that there's people there's like fire pits downstairs there's steakhouses restaurants 
there's a whole arcade center and lots of stuff to do so I don't know what we're gonna do it's almost nine o'clock Aaron went back to the car to grab all the snacks and stuff until we figure out what we're gonna do for dinner yeah we're here we got here late I don't think I told y'all our Wi-Fi that's why our, our Wi-Fi was out is your dad at the door anyways our Wi-Fi was out and then AT&T didn't end up coming until like an hour and after they were supposed to come, it was like 5 o'clock, so we didn't get on the road till like 5.30. It's like a two, almost three hour drive to get here, so. We got a duck, a duck, huh? I know, your daddy's very excited bag of Reese's Pieces is insane. I'm sleeping in y'all's room tonight, okay? <sighs> what a dream to be a kid. But I guess they're having like some big convention here. I don't know what's going on, but there's like a whole bunch of people dressed up in like costumes and stuff. No, 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 no. Your dad is, your dad is bringing up all the drinks and snacks. We are not paying five dollars for a water bottle. Drew gets a pass because he's the baby. Five dollars. Time out. Time out. Time out. We have to wait for your dad to come back, and then we need to mutually decide what we're gonna eat for dinner. So just relax. Wait, 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 wait,
Okay, let me go on their website. We still never stayed at Great Wolf Lodge in Dallas. Well, maybe I have to do that. Dining. Okay, so they've got Max, which is macaroni and cheese, and then they got the double cut steakhouse. That's where I really want to go. Oh, we ate at the Italian place, I'm pretty sure, the last time we were here. I don't think it was that good. Then they have a Mexican restaurant. The place is huge, so like this resort is literally huge. I can't wait till the kids get old enough so you can just be like, yeah, go play, go to the arcade, just do whatever. And me and your dad are gonna go to the bar. <laughs> yeah, the best thing that they got going looks like the steakhouse. Let's see if they have a reservation to my little for tonight. It's already 9 o'clock. I wonder if they're even open. They're open till 10. Y'all wanna go eat at the steakhouse in 15, in 10 minutes? Or y'all wanna do pizza? Eat pizza. Hello? Talking to your dad. Of course, I would like to go to the steakhouse. Okay, well, can we go to the steakhouse dressed like this? Sure. You see a lot of people dressed downstairs? Did you create an event like a Comic Con or something? Yeah, I see. I got an elevator. It was a Mario, some type of witch. Pikachu and the Pikachu had a sex of um. Hey, I was just I, I, it was funny. I was like, open me. I was like, this. I got in. No. 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 Go no. Just let it out. No. No. I don't. It's probably nice to have a hobby or something as an adult. That's just like. Mentally relieving. Dress up in costumes. Hey, the shark is an animal. A shark is definitely an animal. You tired? Did he say no? Let's go, let's go, let's go. I had the worst motion sickness on the way here, and that usually doesn't happen to me if I'm sitting in the front seat of the car. But today it got the best of me. Wristband? You have a wristband? A wristband? I don't got a wristband. We need a wristband to get back in, but I didn't know. Oh yeah, this is the room key, by the way. One of these. One of these. Two of these. Uh, mm, mm, this thing. Mm. We made it. Probably not. 
Probably not. Probably not. Probably not. I want to start getting into drinking wine when I go out. So I'm going to get some wine tonight. Yeah. I think I didn't want a red wine. You know, no wall. I really don't know what I was doing. I think I'm gonna do champagne. I don't know how to pronounce this, but I really like this champagne. It's like the B U B E something. I'm gonna look up the pronunciation. You click what? Do y'all want steak? Pasta, grilled cheese, macaroni, or chicken? Chicken. Chicken, good. You don't want pasta? Like a little spaghetti? Yeah, I could have it. delicious. Starters, they have beef tenderloin. Crab cakes. Mice are dangerous. Make sure you don't get any of your little hands on them. Oh my gosh. He's going to They didn't do it by the glass, so we just got it. Just like that, which is so refreshing. It's like adult spray. So cool. Carson, sit up in this seat. Next generation of iPad. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care. I don't know my mind, baby. I feel like I need chopsticks. I need to play the best
smash the house and sit. Kick down the doors and smack your shit. Just to show you Monica not having it. So in love with you like a drunk habit. Welcome to <laughs> a chaotic day in my life. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We're back from out of town. As you can see, and it's Monday. I know I probably didn't get a lot of footage from when we were there, so I think I'm reminding myself that I put some footage in there because we've already been there before, so. Did he just ring the doorbell again? Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Hold on. Helper, helper. Y'all, the Urban X guy. Also, no um, disclaimer. They're the night. If you need people to professionally exterminate your business or your home, they're literally the sweetest, most professional, nicest people ever. Except that the back gate is locked and it's pouring rain. It's going to rain for the next four days, apparently. And now I have to run in the freezing rain. Let's go unlock the back gate because Aaron's not here because he's dropping kids off at school and we have so much to do today. It's ridiculous. This is when the like I don't know how to explain it, but I was telling y'all last week I'm a procrastinator and I have like a million things to do and I'm in overdrive and I'm about to get it done. Okay. Yeah. That's literally so embarrassing. So embarrassing. Okay, I'm gonna put y'all right here. Pray for me. Have mercy. Okay, it's not raining as bad as it actually looks, or maybe sounds. It just sounds heavy. Oh, I'm out of breath. Did I just like? Anyways, I don't know what that was for my mouth. Okay. Tell how dark it is in here. Like, it still feels like nighttime. We slept in. <laughs> we slept in way too freaking late. Okay, but anyways, back to the trip. It was so much fun. It was way funner than the last time we went. Because, obviously, we were with more people. But I was just really soaking up and enjoying. I don't ever get to see like my dad's side of the family. So I was just talking to everybody, catching up. The kids got to play. It was just, it was really good. It was a really good time. I'm really happy that we've been going down there. <laughs> We're supposed to go down again in like three weeks. <laughs> Cause I feel like a lot of the birthdays they have are at the beginning of the year and then ours are at the end of the year. Cause we don't have anything for them to come up for until Melo turns two. In May, but also like I don't even know what we're gonna do for Melo's second birthday, honestly. So, anyways, Whew. I need some oxygen back in my lungs. I washed my hair last night, so when you see me with this bonnet on for the next three business days until we get our hair done, don't say nothing about it. But yeah, Kalahari was a lot of fun. It's expensive, but it was fun. Moral of the story, about to hop in the shower, start my morning routine, kind of slow back down a little bit. I was about to just get right back into it, but then that's when I don't be spending time in my Bible and doing all the stuff that I know I should do in my morning routine. So I'm going to slow down a little bit, take a little shower, wash up, wash through my skincare, make my bed, you know, do my morning routine. And then we're about to get into it because... Maybe we got a clean reset. We didn't get a Sunday reset or like a weekend. I didn't want to order groceries and fruit over the weekend and then just let it sit. So I just decided I was going to place my grocery order today. So we got to get groceries. We got to prep the grow, you know, organize all of that. And then what else do we have to do? Oh, I have work. I have a lot of work to do today. So honestly, whatever we can get done, you know, I'm going to try my best. Cheers. Drink your water. I know that was on your goals for 2024. Drink more water. I really don't even want to take a shower, but I don't know if I don't take a shower by 12 o'clock, I'm gonna be feeling sticky. Sticky, icky, icky, icky. Ugh. Um. 
loud screaming. I also need to redo my nails today. Okay. These nails from Glamnetic are so pretty. Hold on. Because I really need to tell y'all about this before I get in the shower. Come on, focus on the nail. Focus on the nail. Yeah, there you go. Okay, they've been beaten up over the last week and a half, but these nails actually lasted me a week and a half. They did not chip, bend, break, nothing, nothing, okay? And when I take them off, I'm not really doing it the way you're supposed to do it, but it doesn't damage my nails. I feel like even other press-on glue like damages my nail, but this doesn't, so I love that for me. And I got so many compliments on this specific set. I was like, oh, slay, I love that for me. But yeah, like nails not damaged from the glue or taking them off. They lasted so long. Now the only thing I will say, they advertise them to be reusable. I definitely don't think they're reusable just because a little bit of the paint has started to chip on these, like on my thumbs and um, a couple of other fingers, but they were really pretty. They did, I mean, they're still on. I popped off a couple of them because I'm just a picker, but, and I was ready to change them out anyways. But yeah, I think, I've been, I've used Glamnetic before and I always liked it, but I just like never stuck to the brand. But I think for now, me and Glamnetic press-ons, because I got like another month before I could like go back to the nail salon. I could go back now, but it's going to be getting judgment. Like they're going to be judging me and I don't want to be, I don't want to be judged for my nails because they look a mess or something. But then I'm going to get my nails done. Okay. One thing about me, I got to get my toes done this week too. Ooh. Okay. Back to the shower, get in the shower, get out the shower, and get this party started. Ooh, ooh. It's Monday and I'm in a good mood. Woo, and I made a full breakfast for everybody this morning. Yeah. It's gonna be a good week. In Jesus' name, amen. Because anytime you be saying something and you make plans and the devil be like, mm, 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 mm. here he comes, I'm trying to ruin my week. But I said no, in Jesus' name. I'm gonna have a good week, okay? I'm waiting for the water to get hot. My lip gloss is hot and my lip gloss is cool. We gotta unpack and everything. And this is why I don't wear my hair. Because this is how I walk out the house. I gotta still work on growing my edges back in because right here it's getting a little sparse. But I'm gonna talk to y'all about that after I get the shower. Okay, bye. It's about 10 30 now and i just finished up with like i guess organizing myself you know like a little monday reset for work and seeing what i need to do and now i'm about to place a kroger order so that we can get some food for the house for the week i don't know what i want to cook for dinner that's what i need to figure out Oh, actually, I think I'm gonna make a little bit of chicken thighs because I'm pretty sure I have chicken thighs in the deep freezer. So, I need lemons. Lemons with some rice. And some asparagus. That sounds good. That's what we're gonna do for dinner tonight. Eggies. I don't wanna forget something because that's only like two things. Also, I like that Kroger saves everything that you purchase and then they like suggest stuff to you because I'd be like, I really did need that. Or like your frequent purchases. <laughs>
It's done jazzy, yeah, done jazzy Just put the record Just put the record If they like me, they drop put it to my door Then no go catch up Uh, oh, you come back, no My soul play me a mouse You go do you one kind, my baby for it one time I'm out of a mess up just got delivered so quick intermission or haul before I just go back to cleaning to be honest but I got these brownies they were so good when I made them the other day so I was like yeah <laughs> I had to get some more I'm probably gonna make some tonight I got two different kinds and then I got oatmeal for Aaron he likes oatmeal and then I got some turkey meat beef bacon for breakfast same old, same old. Breakfast sausages for the kids. And then an onion. Lemons for my lemon pepper chicken. And then I also got blackberries. Two things of strawberries. Yep. Eggs. Some salt vinegar chips. Shrimp noodles. Twizzlers, cheese, Hawaiian rolls. That's it. I'm about to organize the fridge, put the stuff away, and then restock. Well, organize the fridge slash restock the fridge like with drinks and then wash the produce and the fruit and stuff like that. And I know good life, 
you lights up my life. And when she tell me my love is your love, baby. She don't want the Gucci, but the body bendy. Cause she give me butterflies in my belly. Oh, Lord. And when she tell me my love is your love, baby. And my word is right, and baby, she gon' save me. Cause she give me butterflies in my belly. Oh, Lord. Girl, your love is crazy. Girl, your love is crazy. You were made. Don't look at my hair because it's nobody's business. Thank you. No, I'm really, I'm gonna like tuck it back because when I watch this later, I'll be like, bald, maybe we can do bald, but the two little. <laughs> No. I'm about to put their baskets together really quickly just because I want to It's been sitting in the laundry room and I just don't want to sit in the laundry room anymore So I just came on here to fill up the baskets really fast and then also tell y'all Don't miss church. Okay, don't miss church Because then you're gonna be behind Even if you watched it online, which you could have knew last week and you could have applied already You didn't get it. So why you didn't? That was me. I'd we miss church. I'm listening to church right now. But I also miss church on my little boat ads because it was freezing rain and snow. Honestly, we live far. So driving that far in those weather conditions, I just didn't seem like the best idea. So we didn't end up going, but I'm behind. So I'm watching, but I really needed to hear it. When it's like, you know, I really needed to hear that. Go watch church, girl. I'll come back and show y'all after because I don't think you can see from right there. Okay, this is what they ended up looking like. I think they actually look super cute. I'm happy with the way they turned out. So this is Mellows and then we've got Carson, Carter, and then this is the stuff that I'm gonna do on actual like closer to Valentine's Day, but I'm gonna put these away in our storage closet, but they are ready, ready. Okay, who ain't prepared? I'm prepared. I can't take myself seriously when my hair is not done, so just <laughs> don't look. I feel like I'm a mess, but that's okay. Hair getting done this week. All right, and we got a date this week too. I just can't decide if this is gonna be a two week long vlog or what. It probably is, so y'all gonna be mad, but girl, life, it be life. Anyways, yeah, we're going on a date this Friday. I have stopped telling y'all what my plans for the week are because I realized that most of the time I don't be doing what I thought I was going to do. Not intentionally, it just don't happen. But I do have a scheduled date night on Friday. Me and Erin are going to this, um, it's like a cologne and perfume making class here in Dallas and I've been trying to get seats to go for the longest and the first they had available when I booked this back in like December was this week. So yeah, I'm excited. But that's for another day. Neither here nor there. Let's focus on today. Today, I finished cleaning up. I got a little laundry in right now. And I'm about to open up my stair stepper. I ended up getting a little thing from TikTok, which none of you guys told me yay or nay. Should I get or not? So I feel some type of way about that. But that's okay. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Hold on. But yeah, we're about to put the stair stepper together. And then I also got a new robot mop vacuum that I'm excited about. Hold on, there's laundry right here, don't judge me. I just said I'm doing laundry, okay? So I just threw everything down the stairs because that's easier. Every time I clean this closet out, somehow it gets dark again. This order. Hopefully they don't open that up. Highly unlikely that that will happen. Okay, also, can we talk about something? For a second, just a quick minute, because I need to finish watching my church service. I keep interrupting me so I can come and talk to y'all. And I feel a little guilty about that. So, I need something to open up the box with. Oh, my little box cutters are missing. All right. I hope it's pre-assembled so I don't have to put it together. Something I wanted to talk about, because I guess, yeah, y'all have seen this, seen a podcast episode and another podcast episode. Because a lot of the girls um, are so very upset with me 
which I kind of had a feeling that was going to happen because I don't, I don't know. Listen, way some of y'all be at behind my baby daddy like you know him personally is really crazy but you know what it is what it is <clears throat> but I, I like the podcast because I feel like it's just me where I'm at right now like or us where we are right now and like obviously there are things that we want to be better at as far as like communication and in all types of things but I just feel like the internet loses I don't know like perspective when you don't because they think everybody is like in this perfect state or I don't even know how to spread it but I started to get a little bit not upset about it but obviously if you know it's if millions of people every day tell you not millions but thousands of people tell you every day like you are a rude b-i-t-c-h pretty much basically obviously that's gonna like you know maybe make you feel a little bit type of way but one I know myself in real life and I know our relationship and I know a thing between us is like we're comfortable having certain conversations and talking to each other about things that other people would never speak to their spouse about or communicate whether it's arguing bickering petty or whatever like they just wouldn't do that and so I'm happy to be in a relationship with somebody who I can just be myself with not a perfect cookie cutter version of what a woman is supposed to be like to a man or anything like I can just be myself so yeah, I might be able to say some things that not, not everybody can say. Now, am I saying that I don't need to work on myself and the way that I communicate? And yeah, but I also know that like, I think people take things a lot more seriously than Aaron and I when they're looking at it from the outside in. So like when we filmed that episode, we're giggling through it and then also talking about how we feel. But then like literally right after that, we're normal. You know what I'm saying? Like we're not harboring feelings. And like, even when we're like petty mad at each other and like not talking a lot around the house, it's not out of like anger or like this... I don't know how to explain it, but I think people look at it and they think it's more serious from the outside looking and then it actually really be like it really don't be that deep like this particular time, you know what I'm saying? So anyways, I just want to say that because <laughs> the girls are so mad. But also there's three people. There's people who can relate to where I'm at because they're probably in the same place that I'm in my life right now, which is nice because then I don't feel alone when all these people are attacking me saying that I'm horrible and then <laughs> there's people who can say it in a way that's like oh I used to be there you're just gonna grow up and grow out of you know as long as you keep trying of where you're at right now but these are things that you could work on which is constructive criticism which I can appreciate and then there's people who are just like basically and to me it just be sounding like they think they can be a better girl to mine but they're just gonna get deleted and blocked. So if you would ever like to contribute a thought ever again in the future, just choose the wording nicely. That's all I'm saying. I'm taking back my corner of the internet. I don't know what it is about what's going on online these days, but I feel like a ton of content creators, like just people, I don't know, are just like coming together to just like really try to tear people down on all these different platforms. Which is why I never got on Instagram and TikTok and all those because even before like all the stuff started happening in my life, it's still just like those places are a lot, it's a lot more people that just are a little bit ruder and I just like to be in this little corner of YouTube and now here I am and I'm not so much in that but I'm taking it back, okay? I will turn my comments off, I will pause my comments, I'm not going to wake up every day and have my mental health deteriorate because of just people being unkind and saying not nice things, you know what I'm saying? And also when I was talking about myself and I was saying like I can be rude, I can be this, those things are all very true but I'm also a very nice person, a very kind person, a very genuine person, like all of that little bit of the conversation doesn't define my entire personality, like I am very nice, I'm very I'm very sweet to him okay I'm very nice to him I'm very kind to him I'm very all of those things but we're not all perfect people 24 7 but somebody some a lot of somebody's took that and just whoosh, ran with it and it was really funny because people who are family and stuff who watched it and then just like had commentary and feedback also made me feel better because it's like people are seeing that one little bit but y'all are just being who y'all genuinely are but then they're not seeing like how happy and all the other things that come like all the other things that we are as well so anyways child I don't know why I wanted to get that off my chest but I did I always be feeling the need to explain myself even though I thought I wasn't explaining myself anymore but when you being attacked I feel like you just feel like sometimes you gotta like defend yourself who else gonna stick up for me if I don't stick up for me 
you know what I'm saying like people really just be thinking they can say whatever to you and because it's like not in real life they just don't care you really can't just say whatever you want to people which I'm also, I'm, also, I'm also working on anyways okay it came pretty simple now how do you work it is a whole other question I guess we read the instructions anyways this is what it looks like I'm gonna hop on it once I figure out how to make it go up and down and hopefully I can lose 25 pounds in a week no okay. I really don't care about losing weight I just want to tone up so I'm gonna try to implement this as a part of my morning routine and like coming down here waking back up early in the mornings and getting on this as my exercise for the day this is apparently to count your steps I guess as a piece of the battery I'm assuming you connect it yeah okay it has like one little piece you have to connect connect it here boom it comes with these little things I don't know if this one you can adjust oh I gotta take this paper part off I gotta see if I can change the resistance on that because it's way too heavy. But I don't, some of them don't have a thing where you can change the resistance, so I don't know. I'm gonna have to get on TikTok. TikTok, 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 TikTok. Because it just takes me too long to go all the way down. I'm like, what? I'll be here all day in slow motion. Only gonna get 10 steps in. The girls be like, they be doing like 10,000 steps on here or something. I can't even get a rhythm because I can't push it down far enough. Have mercy. I'll let y'all know if I figure it out. Taking our memories on love and treating it like nothing. Taking our memories on love and treating it like gossip. It's my love for my grandmother make me gentle when I care for you. Tell me you're falling out of love, she's breaking my heart in two. I just don't want to live in bed. Almost like it didn't happen to make it happen. <laughs> I forgot what day of the week it is. It's the next day. It's Tuesday. Anyways. Hey, I didn't end up cooking last night. Y'all know that's why I don't be saying that. I did, well, I could talk about some macaroni, so that's something, but I'm doing the lemon pepper chicken tonight, so I will cook with you guys when I cook it tonight, because I'm interested to try out the recipe and stuff, but it's way later in the evening, well, not evening, but afternoon, the kids are home from school, and, well, you have to, it is playing Carmelo, I'm not about to keep on asking you about that, okay, brief intermission, Carmelo likes playing with the, this heavy metal napkin holder I put on the He's watching Thor, Thun the Love of Thunder, something like that. If you've seen the movie, The Guy's Daughter, he was passed away. I feel like I had to add context there or somebody was going to be like, oh my god. Thor is actually one of my favorite characters. Oh my gosh. I got him some new skincare. I'm super excited to try it out. Here is the... This is from the brand Dime, and they sent me over all of their skincare products, and I'm super excited to try it because I've been seeing it on Instagram ads all over the place. 
and they have like really, really, really good reviews. And so I'm excited to try these out. I started back doing skin cycling instead of just using my retinols because my skin was becoming a little bit irritated by the retinols. And then I want to work on some other things on my face to my pores and it needs a little bit more exfoliation in there so i'm skin cycling so that i can use all of my products again so i'm excited to add some of these in here's their gentle jelly cleanser and then the super serum toner the dewy day cream i actually really want to try their eye cream because i want an eye cream so i'm probably gonna buy the eye cream this is their night cream TBD cream. I don't know what the difference is between all of this is, but I'm gonna look. Serum. Hyperglow. This is for hyperpigmentation. So I'm wondering if it's kind of like a vitamin C serum. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Oh yeah, it is. It's vitamin C with ferulic acid. Oh! This is basically like skinceuticals. What it has in here, the ingredients, plus it has hyaluronic acid in it. So actually that might be tea and then here's some hyaluronic acid and i'm almost out of my snail mucin so i'm definitely gonna start rolling these products into my skincare routine hi what you want though first you didn't want to say hi to me when you came in the door and now you, you no. want, yeah and now you no. want to be under me don't put your finger in there ouchie ouchie okay let's see what we got Amazon and then I swear I'm deleting Amazon off my phone this is, this is ridiculous okay I was influenced to try this it's the bliss hair growth supplement do you want me to pick you up what are you doing on my feet bud anyways it's supposed to help your hair grow but it's a liquid vitamin which if you guys know me you know like liquid vitamins are tea they absorb into your body way better than capsules that you could take that are vitamins so i'm excited to try this out what's up boo? he's just like right here. yeah you're trying to be sneaky and then i also got their blueberry mint scalp treatment so for the month that i have my braids in what's up you come here do me a Oh, I'm sorry. Scratch your nose. Let me see your nose. Hi, Boo. Hi. Hi. These are my vitamins. Yeah. So for the month that I have my braids, because I'm getting my hair done tomorrow, I am going to try this out and see how long it grows my hair with this combo together. And then, oh, this is, oh, no, we have to be gentle. He broke a glass yesterday and it was like oh my goodness this is not oh yes it is I was gonna say, these bottles are just huge open okay. okay. i this video on tiktok yesterday and this girl was saying like how you're supposed to mix your oils for optimum hair growth so i got these little oil containers because i personally like putting oil in your scalp with a bottle that has this type of top rather than the dropper i'm not a big fan of the droppers for oil or like, putting it in your scalp i feel like it just takes too long you gotta keep do 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 no nobody wants to do that so i'm actually gonna make an oil in here for the kids here yeah yeah i think the oil okay so i got castor oil i thought that this was a little bit bigger than it actually is but that's okay so i'm gonna use castor oil as my carrier oil okay miss please hey don't throw it at me please beep, 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 beep. and then what is that? he's talking so good you guys Can you say open? Open. Can you say close? Can you say mama? Uh, uh. Say mama. Mama. Say dad. Da, da, da. Can you say? Can you say please? Please. 
Yeah, good job. He say thank you. He's really talking in like like low key little sentences, but you just have to really be listening to peep what he's saying. But he's talking so well, so I love that for him because a couple months ago, I mean, I still feel like he maybe could be a little bit on the spectrum, but also he could just be he could just be different. So we're not gonna worry about it. Okay, the oil, other oil that I got is the rosemary oil. I want to look and see how dark it is. Because the only thing, problem I have with like buying rosemary oils instead of making them is I feel like the color doesn't ever look how it's supposed to. See, like this is really light. And I just don't see how it would be light. Because when you make rosemary oil at home, like it's just never light. So I'm probably going to get some rosemary leaves and like put it in here. I don't know. So maybe strengthen it a little bit. Because I just feel like how can it be rosemary oil if it doesn't have any color of rosemary? Somebody correct me if I'm wrong. That's just the math I'm doing in my head. That doesn't make sense to me. Thank you. Thank you. Open. Wow. And then this is, oh. Apparently I got two castor oils. And I, them to my I was like, I know I thought I got a bigger one. This is bigger. Huh? Okay, give me one second before you start popping. <laughs> Okay, the last thing I got, and then Carson's gonna pop all the bubble wrap I got, were these colorful pages of earth tones to start my Bible journaling. It's not a drink. Stuff that I'm gonna do. Thank you. So I got these papers instead of an actual scrapbook, and I'm gonna start. I'm not gonna start today, honestly. You can pop one course What's that? All done. All done. All done. Can I have this? No, but it's mine, please. No. Can I have that? Can I have it, please? I don't have that. Can I have that? We need to take your hair down. Can I have it, please? Can I have it, please? Um. <laughs> he has an orange juice addiction. Y'all. What in the... Crap, it's been raining for the past two days, like nonstop in our backyard is flooded. Like flooded, but it needed it anyways because we haven't been running the sprinklers because it's winter time and it was starting to crack back there. So it needed a little, little. Crap, okay. Let me take your hair down. Wash your hair. Their hair is all messed up from swimming. We got a wow shit. I wish I had those kids that enjoyed getting their hair done or would like sit there and let me braid it, but they scream like nobody's business and I just, I cannot let it. It stresses me out so much. I have a little bit of a stomach ache today, so that's why I haven't talked to you guys all day. I've just been like trying to get work done, but my stomach is hurting for some reason. I don't know why. It's like crampy, but I'm not on my period. And I feel like I had food poisoning. I think I told y'all at the beginning of last week. What happened? And I feel like my stomach just has not recovered. All gone. Trash. From the trash. Let's get you go, smart boy. Trash. Oh, no, he didn't go to the trash. I thought he was going to go to the trash. Oh, there he is. You put it in the trash? What are we supposed to do? Trash. Good job. Backpack, workbox, homework.
Let's get the laundry out the wash jar. We got a new, well it's not a new routine. We're trying to get back into the habits of last year. So I have like their chore chart out. And so when they come home from school, Carter knows homework, take your lunchbox out your backpack, put it up, clean it out, and then whatever tasks we have today. So today we're finishing laundry. We started it yesterday. And then we didn't finish. Come on, Carson. This boy, here you go. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays are supposed to be lunch. Boom. We need a basket. Bring me that basket out of the living room, please. Carson. Fly. Carter. No, I said you. Take these things from the dryer and put them in the basket. Okay. This is a lot of clothes, right? We need to put some more in the washing machine. Okay. Uh, hope you want me. This is wet. Mm -hmm. But this one. Yeah. That's just perfect. Damn. Okay. We need to put these clothes in there. But not the blanket. Wash the blanket so far. We gotta put laundry soap in there. Okay, can I do it? Which boy mom needs to hear this? Don't be a part of the problem, be a part of the solution. Make them do chores. Okay. Nice, I won't be talking about. Mm, it's like cops are. It's not bad, but it's not great. It's digestible. You have to keep it in the refrigerator. Oh, no, that's a horrible apple taste. Mm, chug that with some water. Or a juice. Mmm. Oh. These are my favorite ones. You see that cooler? Better. Okay. I'm basically gonna make an oil with castor oil and then peppermint and rosemary. I gotta get back into like hot oil treatments and all that good stuff. I really should do one on my hair tonight before I blow dry it because my scalp needs it just perfectly. This castor oil is white too. It's not supposed to be that color. You need help with his homework? Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Okay. Intermission. No, actually, she's teacher sent. She sent a video about how we're supposed to do the homework. I just don't know if they want. To draw a square for track. each fish in the top, in the top circle. Draw a square for each goldfish in the bottom circle. In the last circle in the bottom, draw a square. Here, Miss Ventura sent a video. I don't know if this is a subtraction or what. What, well, at school? Guys, I'm open, yeah. I'm trying to get 
just feel like this is not for your hair. This is not like it's for your hair. I don't know. I don't even know. Am I giving mixologists scrubs? Okay. I'm trying to do like half and half so I can do have one for me and one for the kids. I'm gonna use this separately though. I'm gonna also put some peppermint oil in here that I have like stairs. if it's tingling okay it's a little bit later so uh, right now i'm kind of doing like a dinner snack for mellow because carter and carson just went to basketball practice and i'm about to start cooking dinner now because i just wanted to cook in a little bit of a quieter environment yeah i don't know i might start going back to like cooking before the kids come home from school it's just like hit or miss i never know how i'm gonna be feeling that day some days i'm just super overwhelmed and anxious and then other days i'm fine and the noise doesn't bother me it really just depends but i haven't cooked yet and he goes to bed a little bit earlier than the other boys so i'm just gonna give him there you go some leftover macaroni and cheese while he watches miss rachel because yes So what I'm about to do is basically infuse the oils with actual rosemary leaves because I feel like it'll just make it a little bit more potent. But a trick that I learned is you're not supposed to bring it to like a boil. You're supposed to just kind of like heat it and warm it. And then, yeah, then basically the oils that we mixed earlier will be infused with the rosemary. So I'm doing that over on the stove right now. And we're about to get started on our lemon pepper chicken. I got... I asked for two packs of chicken thighs, but I, is there a shortage on chicken thighs? I don't know about, I don't know. Because the last time I tried to get them, I couldn't get them. And then this time, I asked for two packs, and I was only able to get one. You scared me. Okay, I'm going to wash and dry the chicken really fast. But I'm also going to do wings, too, because this is not going to be enough. It's six, maybe, thighs. And... I have some wings too, so I'm just gonna do the same marinade and then we're just gonna be baking it in the oven. So let me wash this really quickly and then I'll come back and we can season it up together. washed and dried our chicken i am personally going to use melted butter instead of olive oil to make my little marinade ma mar marinade oh my god there's an eyelash in the butter good thing it's my house in a restaurant okay <clears throat> melt down some butter and then we're gonna get our seasoning This is what I'm gonna use, the basic seasonings. If you don't know how to cook, girl, yes you do. All you need to season your food is garlic powder, onion powder, and garlic salt, if you really wanna keep it that simple, okay? That's what I use for every single thing. I'm trying to see, y'all can see it a little bit better. Okay, you can see me, you can see the food, period. So we're gonna do garlic powder. I'm really gonna do like a lot, cause there's a lot of chicken underneath there. Garlic salt. 
This is onion powder, but I broke the glass, so there's no more label. And then I'm going to use more lemon pepper than this and also use lemon juice. But lemon pepper. Toss all that in there. Some crushed red peppers. I personally like that. Now that is too much. Crap! Crushed red peppers are spicy and a little bit goes a long way. The kids will be crying. Okay, well, it is gonna be a little spicy. <laughs> I didn't mean to do all that. Paprika. A nice amount for a little bit of color. Butter. Lemon juice. I'm just gonna use this and then I'm gonna slice these and put them. Where are my thongs? The thong, thong, thongs. I really need to get gloves because I hate doing this with my hands, but that's the best option we have for now. So we're just gonna mix it all up. Make sure you get under the skin on the thighs. And I'm just gonna serve this with rice and asparagus. I'm gonna wash my hands and then I'm gonna add more lemon pepper seasoning. Spicy lemon pepper chicken. That's okay. I'm gonna throw this container away after, so don't worry your little heart about it. Okay, now I'm just gonna cut the lemon. I really need to get a new set of knives. Make it into slices, add it on there. It's giving spicy lemon pepper, but that's okay. It's still gonna be good regardless. I'm just gonna serve it over rice with a side of asparagus. It doesn't matter how many times I cook chicken, I always have to Google how long I should cook my chicken. And I put the picture. And I'm also going to wrap it in aluminum foil. <coughs> bing bong, bing bong. Aluminum foil. I think that's enough lemon wedges. It looks like this. The camera's washing it out. It's super bright in here. Okay. I'm going to put foil on this. I thought I didn't have any foil, but I do. I feel like you need a couple more lemon slices. Oh, I'm, uh, I'm so ready to start gardening, you guys. I'm gonna get a lemon tree. I really wanna just like 
I think I'm gonna start out with like produce and stuff and try to grow my own herbs and all of that in the garden, but that's gonna be a whole ordeal, a whole project. I have a ton of home updates coming soon that I'm really excited to share with you guys. I'm gonna double pull it like Here's when I have to go to TikTok for a temperature reference. I don't know why I don't know at what temperature. And for how long you're supposed to cook your chicken. I'm trying to decide what I need to do with my hair tonight because I need to blow dry because my hair appointment tomorrow is at one. But also we're supposed to be filming for the podcast tomorrow and will my dude just have my hair blown out? Like, no, absolutely not. Fun fact, did you know? that if you like something on one device and then you're on tiktok on another device it doesn't sync up for some reason lemon pepper thighs guys until they're well marinated i forgot to put parsley nice oven safe container and then get the rest of the marinade and just scoop it all on there Five 400 degrees for 40 minutes she left hers uncovered but i think i'm gonna cover it and then Uncover it. I feel like the meat is a little bit more moist when you cover it, but I could be lying. But she said 400, so now I gotta re preheat the oven. Cause I put it on 375. Don't ask. I won't tell. <laughs> no, I put a hot oil treatment in my hair, and then my hair is dry, so it's literally in an afro state, like this big. And then I put my bonnet on over, cause I just got out of the bath. We're about to plate our food you know what's one thing that used to irk my soul when i was a kid because i didn't understand it honestly is when my mom would serve my dad on plates like real plates and then everybody else had to use paper plates but he ain't never do no dishes so i was confused why is the person who doesn't do dishes getting a real plate but now, I mean, that's besides the point. He could have probably did a little dish or something. You know what I'm saying? I don't believe in toxic masculinity. <laughs> to the point where men, like, refuse to do any household chores. If they just don't do it often, or it's easier for the one. Anyways, we're not going to get into a whole debate about it today. But I used to be irately mad when I was a kid. Because I was like, why is he eating on a real plate? And the rest of it says we plates. But it actually makes total sense because he ate a lot more than we did. And it wasn't going to fit on the paper plate because now I feed the kids on paper plates. <laughs> and I feed Aaron on a real plate. But that's because he has a lot more food and I'm making a mess everywhere. It just, it's, it's not going to work on a paper plate. You know what I'm saying? A paper plate will be like this. Or I'll have to use like five of them. So here's the rice that I made in the microwave, which I'll be doing from now on because I was so much easier than boiling it and having to wait and watch the water for when it boils to when it's not boiling to cut it down to simmer it. Microwave it. Follow the instructions on the box. New hack. The chicken looks so delicious. Look at this. Do you see this chicken? It almost looks like I fried it a little bit. I don't know if I want a wing. I'm leaning toward a wing. I think I want this edge piece right here. Oh, okay. of course I did. Of course I did. I just want to taste it. See if it's any good. It's a mess. It's good. It's very lemony. It's still really hot. Well, that's it for tonight. I was going to make some brownies, but I actually don't feel like it anymore now that I took a bath. I never drink Sprite, but because I got put some in the fridge, they've just been seeming to be so very refreshing. Okay, well, I'll see you guys tomorrow for our hair appointment. I'm really hoping it comes out cute. I'm kind of nervous, but it is what it is. Good morning. Oh, I found.
found the pacifier. My brother was just over here looking for this the other day. I'm gonna put it over here by the door. Hold on before I forget. Okay, okay. Ooh, it's a little chilly in here this morning, but okay. I'm excited because I'm gonna do like my first page of this little Bible book scrapping. I don't know what it's gonna become, but I'm just excited to try it out. Hopefully it'll be cute. Who knows what it's actually gonna look like. <sighs> I don't know where I wanna start though. I don't know if I wanna just start with like a daily little verse or if I wanna start with a prayer for like one of, I was gonna say one of the people. I have a list in my phone of like my family members and wrote down like little prayers for them and stuff. And I think I'm gonna do Carter first because why not you know but also i need a picture of him to do this oh this is a perfect little sticker for him it says be brave be strong be fearless okay this is a good one mm, this is a good one for carter too for god has given you the spirit not a fear of power and love and self-control Okay, because my baby, he like me. He let his emotions consume him and he do be mad. Anyways, I'm whew, I'm just so excited, you guys. I'm, well, I don't even know how to really describe the feeling, but I feel like for the last couple of months, like November, January, or I skipped December, December, and just like all the hustle and bustle of the holiday season, I feel like I really lost focus of building my relationship with God. And also, I think I got scared a little bit because when you start to develop a deeper relationship with God and you start to view things from a different point of view, the world can become a very scary place. I don't know how else to describe it. And I still feel crazy when I talk about it because I know some people won't understand what I'm saying because I used to be one of those people that didn't understand, but now I, I, now I know. And anyways, so I talked about a little bit how it kind of made me a little bit nervous and I was a little standoffish with God because I'm like, ooh, mentally, this is a lot for me to process. So anyways, I'm over that now and we're back in, I are just deepening the relationship with God. I think I got to the point where I was kind of like coasting through and I was like still doing my Bible verses, but I really wasn't getting deep. Okay, so I'm back getting deep and it just makes me so excited. I, I started rereading last night, like all of my old prayers from when I first started my prayer journal and I highlighted prayers that were answered, things that I still need to work on, things that are still in the air and just, but it kind of just re-motivated me because I'm reading it and I'm like, who is this articulate girl writing in this journal? Can't be me. Could be me. Y'all know I can't talk. So I'm like, this has to be Holy Spirit led because baby, when I tell you it is a word up in my journal, it's a word, okay? I was like, I need to sit down and read these to the girls because like, y'all wouldn't believe that the, I couldn't even believe when I started rereading what I wrote that I wrote it. I was like, nah, this is, this is crazy right here. Like the way I was praying, the way I was talking to God, it was like, I was like one of the old folks in the church, like so spiritually literary. I don't know where that came from. But I want to get back to that place because even sometimes now that I've kind of like gotten off track, I like lose focus of my prayers. And like I pray a lot and talk to God a lot throughout the day because that's something I'm trying to train my mind to do when anything happens or, you know, the devil is on the move. I just try to stop and tell God and pray about it. You know what I'm saying? But then also like reflecting on the day, like, okay, thank you God even if the whole problem or trouble is not solved in that day if I made it through that day then it wasn't a problem that day. you know you get what I'm saying so anyways I've just been trying to train my mind and focus on the Lord but I know the way that I've been praying hasn't been the same as when I was up in my prayer journal and so I was reading it I was like oh we got to get back to this right here because this she's that girl whatever I was writing about moral of the story I just feel back filled up renewed okay <laughs> and it's a process it's such a process which I think people don't talk about because I don't know why but it's just such a process being on a spiritual journey like it has its ups and it has its downs and even when I felt, felt myself falling off I kept praying to God and I was like get me back on track please like renew my spirit but it's not like I mean sometimes God does answer your prayers overnight and things happen very quickly but also it's like there's things that God needs you to do in, in order for him to start moving. You gotta move out of your own way. And sometimes that takes a couple days, a week, 
a month you know before it all gets to where it's supposed to be but it's amazing to look back and see the journey because again even when I was off and I was getting back on but I was praying about Lord you know you bring me back bring me back bring me back now I feel like I'm at the full circle moment of like he brought me back you know what I'm saying so it's like it didn't happen overnight but nonetheless we're here and I'm excited and yeah so I I don't exactly know <clears throat> okay because my handwriting is really bad so I don't want to write on paper I want to print it out and I have a printer it's a thermal printer but I just don't know how it's gonna look so basically I'm gonna do something along the lines of I'll try to angle y'all down so I can see a little bit but I got these cardboard pieces of earth tone paper that I showed y'all yesterday and then I've been showing you guys in the previous vlogs if you skipped or you don't know what I'm talking about I'll try to put everything that I'm using in the Amazon storefront because that's where I got everything from but I got like all these scrapbooking materials so that I can basically make these cute little individual prayer boards and I'm gonna hang them up I've been, been spending a lot of time in this room and while it is like a multi-purpose room I feel like I spent a lot of time with God in here like I'll just come sit on the floor in the mornings and read my Bible and my Bible study book and be on my iPad doing my journaling and that kind of thing so this is gonna be my office podcast prayer room and I'm gonna hang these up in here okay and start a little collage of my boards so I did get I think I showed you guys I gotta take a picture of him when he comes home or something with Carter so I can have it on here and I'll probably place it like somewhere over to the side and then I'll put my prayer like right here but I think I'm gonna type it out instead of writing it I'm just gonna print it off on a piece of paper because my handwriting is atrocious and then I have these little cute cards that have Bible verses on it so the one that I'm putting on here is for God gave us a spirit not of fear but of power and love and self-control and one of the things I'm praying for Carter about just over his life in general is just and what I pray for all my kids about but it's just like breaking generational curses and learning how to like control his emotions and not be consumed by them and communicate you know a little bit a little bit better so we're working on that every day but it's it's one of my one of my go-to things for him so I don't know how cute these are gonna be when I first start out we'll see I need my little this this is like the double-sided tape sticks it's supposed to be sticky oh, what happened did I go the wrong way okay another one thank you how are you supposed to roll it out like that okay this little sticker says be strong be brave be fearless i think these are stickers okay yeah oh this is gonna be cute i probably didn't need tape on all four of the corners but that's all right i'm gonna take this one off <clears throat> beep, 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 beep. which way are you supposed to roll it Okay, obviously this is going to be a process and I, it'll get better as we go. You know, when you first start something, you're not always good at it. But I think I'm going to put the envelopes on here and put the prayer inside the envelope instead of having it out and then put the little picture right here because, yeah, I think I'm going to just put it in the, I think I'm going to just seal it up in the envelope. So it's going to look something like this, how it looks now, but I'm about to type out, I, can't, I think I have it on my phone. Do, do, do. Prayer list. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, I already have one for Carter already typed out. So I'm just going to print it out. Oh, I never even showed you guys this. So let me show you. 
Oh, let me see if it's charged. It's dying, but I think I might have enough battery to show you one. Okay. It's basically an inkless printer. I gotta send it to my other phone because my other phone already has the app on it. Did I already say this is an inkless thermal printer? And it's wireless. And did I say it was inkless? Because ink is one of those things. Okay. Hopefully it don't die on me. Only thing I don't like about it kind of is the app. Okay. Okay, it's printed. Should I read it? I don't know if I should read it. If I should read it. If I should read it or not. I don't think I'm going to cut it out. I think I'm just going to fold it up as it is. The prayer that I wrote for Carter says this. And I know some people are like, oh, don't pray about and don't tell certain things, which I do believe in. But I also believe that the Lord will protect me and that my plans and the plans that he has for me, my family, and my kids cannot be ruined by anybody and their bad wishes or evil intent. So, with that being said, if you need a little prayer inspo for your kids, because I feel like I find myself on Pinterest a lot too. Like when I first started praying, I would get on Pinterest and be like a prayer for my son, a prayer for whoever I wanted to pray for, because it just gives you a little bit of like encouragement in your prayer and a different vernacular of vocabulary and things to pray for, I say. So, also there was a church service that I just listened to a couple days ago, and I'll link in the description box, but he was talking all about like the posture of your heart when you pray and the things that you should be asking for God when you're praying and it just applies to everything but mostly just about when you're praying for something you should be praying that whatever you want should be God's purpose or will for you and then it should be to bring glory to him so anyways my prayer for Carter is, I usually write like, dear God, before I start praying, but I thank you for Carter, Lord, and all the prayers that you have already answered on my behalf regarding him. I pray over Carter, Lord, that he'll continue to be successful in school and that he will excel academically and that his temperament and behavior will continue to improve as he has complete until he has complete control over his emotions. I pray that he learns to be a team player. I pray that he grows up knowing you and being led by the Holy Spirit. I pray... I pray that whatever plan you have laid out for his life, that no weapon, no enemy formed against him shall prosper. I pray that he breaks every generational curse. I pray that he finds a lovely wife. I pray that she is God-fearing. I pray for her safe... <clears throat> I can't read clearly. I pray for his safety while he's at school. I pray for his teachers and his peers, Lord, for whatever you know that they need. I pray that he can be a blessing to others through friendship and kind words. I pray that he will be kind, caring, and a gentleman. I pray that everything that he speaks out of his mouth will be kind and give glory to God. In Jesus name, amen. And I'll probably add to this because I pray for them often. Like I have their own little prayer journal and like a documentary <laughs> of their life on my iPad. And so I'll, like I'll write to them when there is like certain milestones. And then I obviously pray for them in my head without writing it down when I go to sleep and stuff. But the things that I focused on on that prayer for Carter when I was thinking about the beginning of the year for him is just one thankful to God of how far he's come since he started kindergarten because he had a rough transition when he first got there and I don't I don't I think it was more so basically based on like just everything that was kind of going on with us at home and with his dad that kind of affected his behavior and then obviously it's his first time doing real school work in school so he was struggling a little bit with getting his work done and those type of things but man oh man has he made a huge transition and improvement i mean like all a's he doesn't get in trouble he comes home on fives every single day and he's just been excelling so i'm really thankful for that that he was able to get like over that hump and then obviously like i was telling you guys he is my little hothead baby he gets man real quick okay <laughs> real quick and so we're just working with him on learning how to like cope with all of that and then something else i i don't know should i should i close it up i don't think i will 
all the way. When was yeah, so I'm basically gonna do this for I'm gonna make one of these for everybody I have on my prayer list. And then we'll revisit in some time and I'll have a little folder for answered prayers. And I feel like it's really important to write your prayers down or like when you're having conversations with God so that you can really look back and see what he's done in the prayers that he's answered. You know? So this is what we got right now. It's not looking as aesthetic as I would have hoped for, but like... <laughs> That's not what it's about, but like I said, hopefully once I, you know, get a little better at scrapbooking or whatever, and then I'm going to put the little Polaroid picture of him right here. So, and then I'm going to hang it up on my wall or just keep it in a little folder or stack somewhere. I haven't decided yet. But. Yeah, okay. In other news, <clears throat> let me come get y'all. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm about to cry. I'm not gonna cry. I'm not gonna do that. Okay. Anyways, I'm just gonna tell you guys what just happened and then I'm gonna move on to the rest of the day. So. And it's crazy because it's literally right out my window. I'll take a picture of it and insert it. Okay, so I saw this girl on TikTok and it's not the first time I've seen this, but she basically made like a, uh, what is it? A secret or a promise with God. I can't remember how she described it, but oh, like a like a, pa a password, like a pass key. Because you know, sometimes it can be hard to discern God's voice with your voice and other things and you got to be real tuned in you know what i'm saying but something that i've noticed is when i ask god for something or to show me a sign or something oh baby he will show up and show out i mean immediately so i was seeing this girl's tiktok and she was basically saying my passcode with god was i asked him a question and then i asked him for a sign for either of those answers and so she was like <clears throat> one of the things was a hot pink car and then a burnt orange car since so she would know which one that he decision or choice he wanted her to make so i was like you know what i'm gonna try it and see if it works because why not you know what i'm saying so i prayed that prayer and i made a passcode with god and i asked him about something and i used what she used which because it was like the best thing i could think of and it was like things that you wouldn't see often so she basically said like I wouldn't often see like a bright pink car or like a burnt orange car or something like that. And I think she said it was like six months until like she saw this car and remembered the this prayer that she had prayed to God. And I literally just did this. What was it? Sunday when we were coming back from Austin is when I seen the TikTok and I sat in the car and I was like, okay, God, I have something that's been on my heart and I need you to show me. Okay, because it's one thing that I prayed about for so long that I just feel like I'd never get a solid, I, I can never figure it out, okay? And one of my options was a bright pink car and, or like a bright blue sparkly car. And I just went to close the blinds because I went to talk to y'all and guess what's right outside? A bright pink car. So I'm going to take that as my answer, <laughs> as my answer. I know maybe that might sound delusional to some people, but I honestly feel like it was a prayer that I prayed in my head. Nobody else knew about it but me and God. So yeah. Anyways, <laughs> the agenda for the rest of the day today is just getting our hair done. I blow dried my hair this morning. This is what she's looking like under the bonnet. My braid kind of fell out. Fell out. I fell out. I braided my hair in like two little braids, but obviously the bonnet's got to stay on. Hold on. <clears throat> Okay, we're back. Yeah, we're getting our hair done at one o'clock. It's 1130. I have to leave here in an hour because it's about a 20 minute drive. <sighs> so honestly, what am I about to do right now? I don't know. I've been working all morning and trying to get some things and some content sent in. And then we're going to record for the podcast today, but we're just going to do it tomorrow when I get my hair done because what is this you know what i'm saying <laughs> that's pretty much it oh let me show you guys something that i've been working on 
hold on sorry i got an email okay recently i've been working on a digital calendar and i don't know if i'm going to release it or not but you guys let me know if it's something because i want to know if it's something that people are actually interested in i know digital calendars are super popular but for me i feel like every year when i get a calendar journal or planner i never use it like i will use it for the first couple of months because i'll be like oh yeah new year new me new goals new life i'm organized all of that but i never actually use it because i feel like it's not catered to my spirit specific brain type and what I need to look at every single day so or it like mashes a whole bunch of things together that I feel like need to be separate places so I've always kept my calendars on good notes and just kind of made them as I went throughout the year to like what fit however my brain is functioning at the time basically to keep track of my planners and stuff so I'll put a little screen recording on the screen for you guys but I basically created this calendar in Canva which I'm not going to gatekeep you can make these on Canva um, you don't need to buy them if you have the extra time to go and sit down and customize your own calendar on Canva you can literally do that so that's what I did and basically it starts with January how calendars normally do but what I did was basically like the, I have a month calendar and then I have a January family calendar so then on that calendar it has like what everybody else's schedule are not just my schedule so like when the kids have basketball practice when Aaron has things when we have family things together and January is kind of blank because I actually started it in another folder and then I was using this as like my mock-up mock calendar in a different template so it's blank right now this specific one because I was doing one with like color and stuff and that's the one I've been using but anyway so then it has a family calendar and then it has a weekly planner with the days of the week and then it has individual daily planners and then it has another weekly planner and then obviously those seven individual days weekly daily weekly daily weekly daily so I only did the month of January so far, but I feel like for me, it helps me stay organized because I can obviously see at the beginning of the week what the bigger picture is, and then I can go and individually plan for the day. And I'm trying to see if I can zoom in on here. So on the daily planner, it has what your intentions are, what dinner meals you'll have, what appointments you have, what exercise you can incorporate into the day. And then it has priorities, things to do for tomorrow, tasks for today, and then notes. So kind of like general sections. So I've been using this template and it's really been helping me because it doesn't have every single thing in it. Like it's not mashed up with budgeting, financing, goals, prayer. Like I feel like those things need separate calendars. For me, I have everything separated on my good notes. I have a content calendar and journal, or not journal, but schedule. And then I also have my regular calendar and then I have my journals and then I have something separate for budgeting. But it just helps me a little bit more. You can make one on Canva, girl. But I think I might download my template and then I don't know. I don't know if I can put it on Canva or not, but it'll just be like a little downloadable printable not printable, downloadable, and then you just upload it into GoodNotes and then that's basically how you would use it. So if you guys want that, let me know. And then another thing that I liked about it too is I did it blank, but I've been like adding stickers to it and emojis on it. And it's cute when you're like doing it on the iPad if you're like an iPad girly. So anyways, that's the plan for the day. I will, I can't believe this little car is out here. It's so crazy. Bing bong crazy i gotta take a picture not me gonna do this every single time now when i have a question i need to ask god i'll be like okay god if yes <laughs> i know that's probably not always reasonable or practical but i just can't believe this look should i cover their license plate yeah okay but do you see the car do you see this pink car right here? It's very much magenta, bright pink. And you don't see that? And that's the first time, I mean, I know all the cars on my street. That's the first time I've ever seen that car. Ever. Ever. Okay, anyways. Oh, did I ever show y'all my vision board and how it came out looking? I think I did. I just have to, I made another one. I just have to put it here. All right, I will see you at the hair appointment.
It's a whole brand new, yeah. I love this. I love this period. I don't have anything negative to say. What a surprise. <laughs> I'm just waiting for it to loosen up a little bit so I can really play around with it because maybe when I say she braids. So, it's not the tightest braids I've ever had, but they're definitely, yeah. But I love it. I love the color. I love how full the curls are. This is like no product. I haven't wet it down. Probably won't do that till tomorrow. But I just got in the bath because, you know, I've been sitting all day. Getting my hair done. I need to put a headband on really fast though. Because I'm about to do my skincare, which I will save you the pain and agony of doing my skincare with me. But just hold on and hold that thought there. Um, because we're about to go to In N Out because now they have a burger on an onion, and that's literally like my dream. And yeah, why not? Today I'm just feeling adventurous, okay? Aaron's still up, he's playing the game, the kids are in bed. I'm gonna drive to In N Out and go see what this onion burger, whatever it's called, is hitting for. So that's what we're about to do after I wash my face really quick. I'm looking for my face wash. I always lose everything. Okay, I actually need to use my oil cleanser first. Whew, it's tight, but all right. I'm gonna wash and then, oh, let me tell y'all something. I know y'all don't need another thing to buy. I know you don't need another thing to be influenced about, but this, Right here? Yeah. They did their big one. Like, to the max. To the max. Usually, when I blow dry my hair, you know, because they don't want you to come with any, like, products in it or anything like that. My hair be feeling dry, and I just be feeling it, it needs something, like, some type of moisturizer. My hair felt so, and I used it twice, so it wasn't a gimmick. My hair felt so flipping soft after I used this. Like blow dried it out, my hair blow dried better. It looked smoother, it looked nicer, it looked healthier. It just looked better. Try this. If you're a curly girl, you still have to condition your hair, detangle it, then rinse the conditioner out, then put this in, and it's best to use if you're styling with heat. I don't really know how, it wouldn't really work. It would work on naturally curly hair if you wet it and then you use this just as like a serum, but it's getting used as for a silk press or a blow dry. And thank me later. Cause I'm telling you one thing's for sure. Whatever they put in there. Yeah. Okay, anyways. Back to my skin here. I'll see you guys in the car. The dog. Alright, phone cam, because I left my other camera in the house. But we're going to In N Out, which I just told you guys. So I will see you once we get to In N Out. Do the Flying Dutchman at this location? Uh, Flying Dutchman? Yeah. Okay. Did you want it like wrapped in anything or just the Flying Dutchman? Uh, just I just how it comes, I guess. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. And would you like any fries? Yes. Can I do two of those? And then can I do animal fries with extra chopped chilies? So two Flying Dutchman and one animal fry and extra chopped chilies, correct? And then yes. And then can I also have a vanilla shake? A vanilla shake. I'll try anything else. A water. And then that's all. So two flying Dutchmans, an animal fry with extra chilies, a vanilla shake, and a water. Is that going to be all to go? Yes. I guess it's going to be 17 and these two. I don't know. Oh, can y'all see me? Hello. Bring a little light back here. I always feel so embarrassed when I'm asking for things that you would order on social media. Like, you know, when you go to Starbucks and you see somebody else's order, so you order it at Starbucks, but I'm like the worst Starbucks orderer ever, okay? Because for the longest time, I used to just call it, can I get a small, medium, large? Like, no grande, no tall, no venti, whatever. You know, just why did we even come up? How did we even get here at this point? You know what I'm saying? Girl math also is the fact that I returned something on my credit card, so that and I already paid the statement balance so that means now I have free money yes I know so bad 
I've been taking Lemmy gummies. Okay, forget about a sleepy girl mocktail. Does the magnesium make you sleepy in the tart cherry juice? Yes, but it's not going to knock you out. At least it didn't in my opinion. I don't know. I don't fall asleep that easily. So when I took it, it definitely made me relax. So if you want something that just kind of like relaxes you, but doesn't put you like out, cool. The Lemmy gummies, give it 20 or 30 minutes. <laughs> Baby, when I tell you, knocked out. I mean like like and it's like it's like that trend that's going on TikTok where it's like when all the Red Bulls I've been drinking catch up to me and then it goes um zzz, and then you like flatline that's literally how the let me gummies feel like I can feel myself getting tired and then all of a sudden it's just like drop dead like sleep immediately it's really crazy honestly because like you don't feel it at first and then like right before it's about to kick in I'm like okay I'm a little tired and then I see and I lay my head down close my eyes I don't remember anything till I wake up. <laughs> Thank you. Have a great night. You too. Bam, 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 We got all the. And I'm gonna do exactly what this person just did. Park and parking lot and eat my food because. Duh! <laughs> That's the only vibe it's giving. But I'm like, where in the parking lot do I want to park? Sketchy over here where nobody's at. Yeah, we're just gonna back in that way in case anything weird happens. We can just immediately burn off. I'm sorry, you guys can't see me. But it's giving car cam. I mean, car cam? Yeah, it, it is giving car cam. What is in my trunk? Can I get fined for parking in a handicap spot after hours? That should be illegal. Nobody's outside. The business is closed. It's not a handicap where somebody come crying. Oh, y'all are making me, you guys are making me a hard body. You guys, not you guys, not the girls, not the girls, not the girls, the haters, the, 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 I was gonna say weirdos. No, it is really weird to be on somebody's online page and just be doing the shit that some people be doing, like be so fucking hard. But anyways, are you shitting me? I have to go back. I'm not going back. I'm not going back. That line was so long. I've been waiting in the line for like 20 minutes. That's why she asked me, do you want it wrapped in anything? And I was like, no, I needed to wrap it in an onion. Are you fucking kidding? Sorry, I'm not cursing. All I got was two patties and some cheese, so. Enjoy. I'm coming back tomorrow. That's what I get. I'm always so passive and I never speak up and ask questions. I'll be back. Don't you worry your sweet little head about it. These are gonna bust though. They got sauteed onions, the sauce. As long as the sales their fries are not stale, sometimes their fries be stale. I don't understand. They need better fries because the toppings they have. Are fire, but like. The way they cut their fries, no. It's so busy. I really want that onion. No, the line's longer than it was when I got here. Is this what young people do? Is this what people with no kids do? Just come and end up at 10 o'clock at night on a Wednesday? Like, I'm thinking the city's gonna be dead. Who's calling? You will not waste my baby dad. <laughs> you can't go anywhere. When you're a freaking mom or a girl without boys calling you 24 7. Sir! Good morning! <clears throat> Today's Friday. 
I didn't talk to you guys yesterday, but honestly, I don't even remember what I did yesterday. I believe I was working, but honestly, I don't remember. Isn't that crazy how you don't remember something that you were doing just yesterday? It's crazy. But anyhow, we are headed. Well, we're picking up lunch even though it's breakfast time for Carter because I'm going to go have lunch with him today. It's been a while since I had lunch with my little baby. So I told him I was going to come this morning and then it also let me get out of packing lunches this morning, which I didn't feel like doing. So <laughs> I'm going to try to go to Sonic. I see a car here, so I'm assuming that they're open, but I honestly just don't know. And if they take a long time, oh, Oh, the potholes is real. Are they open? Nothing else serves regular food at this time of the day. So it's like I'd be having trouble going somewhere because everything is still serving breakfast. Hello? Thank you, she said Sonic said what's up, can I Hi, um, can I do a small order of chili cheese tots? Small chili cheese tots and you drink anything else? Uh, yes. Can I also have a kid's meal with chicken strips? Tater tots or fries? Uh, can I do tater tots and then can I do a blue raspberry freeze as the drink? Blue raspberry slush? Yes, sorry. I can't hear you, I'm sorry. Yes, the blue raspberry slush. Okay, anything else? Uh, yes, can I also do... Do you guys still do the chicken strip sandwich? Uh, we have the number 11. It's, it's still chicken, but it's not our dinner. Um, okay, can I do a number 11, a three piece? Uh, fries for tops. Uh, fries and can I get uh, a cranberry limeade? You said strawberry limeade? Cranberry limeade? Cranberry, thank you, Nathan. And then just can I have some yeah, ketchup, please? Yes, ma'am, 1750. I'll be right up. Thank you. Thank you. And drop my ID out the door. Nothing like a chaotic morning. I don't really know why I got chili cheese tots. Like, I like chili cheese tots, but I didn't want them. But I pressed the button, and then it was too late to go back from there. So, I guess we're eating chili cheese tots. I just felt bad because I didn't want to make her wait after I pressed the button and be like, oh, I don't know what I want because that would have been, that would have been tough. Uh, my grandma used to get me breakfast burritos from Sonic like every single day. Like this is what I would eat for breakfast when I lived with her. Like this is where we would go. Get a bacon, cheese, and egg burrito. It was like a dollar or something. Anyways, the plans for today are light. I'm not going to probably see y'all too much more this morning. I just am picking up the food for his lunch. Going to go eat lunch with him. And then I have work. I'm a working girl. Y'all know I love to do everything at the last minute. So it's last minute. And now I'm in overdrive. I need to clean these glasses off. I really want to get my, my prescription lenses put in here. I think I like these glasses that much, but we'll see. But yeah, tonight is Aaron and I's date. We're make, going to a fragrance making class where they also have like wine and champagne. So I'm really excited. I think it's going to be, um, hopefully it's going to be a lot of fun. Just like a new kind of experience in date night. You know, getting out of the rut of the same things that we normally do. Like, we were talking about that the other day. Well, we were really talking about it on the podcast, but we have to refilm the episode because it got messed up. But anyways, <clears throat> he was just talking about, like, how it's harder when you've been in a long-term relationship to, like, keep the 
funness of date night alive because we've done like so many things especially like when we are like younger before we had mellow i don't know why just having two kids was just seemed a lot simpler <laughs> than having three i don't know what it is but we used to go do like helicopter rides plane rides like we've been to every steakhouse in the city we've pretty much done like all of the fine dining type of things like dallas has opened up a lot more restaurants and like after covid and stuff that we still haven't got to try out but we've just done a lot of stuff and so we were talking about that yesterday and we were like we need like new things to do so i've been trying to like be a little bit more creative and take initiative in planning dates because aaron is really romantic and he does plan a lot of stuff that is one thing that i will give that man like he is he could be very romantic however he's not on social media and so like he doesn't see all the like new little cool fun things to do in dallas but i do so instead of sitting around waiting for him to magically get the idea in his head i just decided to book us some dates so we're going to do that and then i scheduled us like a cooking class for next not next week but like in two weeks we're going on a cook like on a cooking class and then it's going to be valentine's day and i know he has plans for us for valentine's day and yeah so i just follow this page on instagram it's like dallas texas tour guide i think she has like an instagram and a tiktok but she's always showing like the fun cool interesting things to do in the city so after these next couple dates when the weather warms up i think we're gonna start trying to like do hobby dates so like go golfing together tennis um i want to do like a pottery class just some you know fun cute stuff besides going to a restaurant or going to the movies because we go to the movies on a regular basis anyways so i don't really consider those to be dates like we go pretty off pretty often so yeah, yeah i hope the food doesn't take a long time because i don't want to be late for his lunch i'll never forget one time i was late for carter's lunch and i was in shambles like crying because i went to get my lashes filled because i thought i was going to be done in time and then i literally was not done in time and then i put in my map to his school but the school he goes to is like a charter so they have like the name of the school and then they have like different surnames for the different locations so i ended up driving all the way to the wrong one and then by that time his lunch was over and i was like felt so bad because he had to eat the school lunch which there's nothing wrong with him eating the school lunch he just has never ate school lunch before or went in the line and he didn't know what they was gonna have that day they had something he didn't like. i was literally crying i felt so bad so then i'm on my phone while i'm driving once i realize i'm going in the wrong direction trying to uber eat some food to school just for the school to be like oh no like only parents can drop off food you can't have any like you can't have like a courier drop food off i was like so then i went and pulled him out of school for the rest of the day because i felt bad <laughs> and i had already got i think i had already got the food like i had got mcdonald's or something and then i was just like yeah wrap it up he can just come on home because i felt like such a shitty mom <laughs> because i knew he was waiting for me and then i just could imagine him sitting at the table by himself because we have to sit separately from like his class and he's just like sitting there getting sadder and sadder and every time i go eat lunch with him i stop going to eat lunch with him so often because every time i eat lunch with him he cries when i leave and i'm like dude like he's not even a crier like he never was like even when he was going to like preschools and daycares when we would drop him off like he didn't cry like as he was like older so when he cries at lunch it just makes me feel so bad and then i'm like okay i'm not gonna come up here if you're gonna be emotionally distraught for the rest of the day so yeah anyways i need ideas if you're a teacher please let me know what you would like to receive for valentine's day if you were getting a gift from a parent because i'm gonna do little valentine's obviously for the kids classes but i want to do something for the teachers and i saw a lot of ideas on pinterest and stuff like that but i want to know what teachers actually want like do you want things that are for school or do you want something personally for yourself because my first idea was to do like it was like this little notebook and then it had a pencil bag stacked on top of it and then it had like um just some other like little cute things and then it was wrapped up in valentine's day ribbons and bows and stuff like that so it was cute but i'm like does a teacher really want that or does she already have that like tell me what the girls tell me what the girls want okay 
the girls and guys. Hold on, y'all. Sorry. Where I'd be having y'all put up at is... Um... I'm so disorganized. It's ridiculous. The car is clean right now. And I know somehow, some way, when I get out this car, it's not going to be organized. Anymore. Anyways, where I'd be putting y'all at is where I need to put the drinks. The only thing, that's the one thing I can't stand about this car. There's no good place to mount the camera in this car. I guess I gotta go around. The potholes right here are insane. I'm in such a good mood this morning, y'all. I've been listening to Tasha Cobbs all morning since I got up and I spent a lot of time praying this morning. But can I confess something to y'all? One thing about me when I pray, oh, if I close my eyes for too long, baby, I'm going to fall asleep. I'm going to fall asleep. Like, I'm going to fall asleep. <laughs> ah. <laughs> but no, I ended up praying for like 30 minutes and then I opened my eyes up. But then I was like, I'm, I've been learning to try to like train myself to like have silent moments to like wait to see if I can like hear from God. And, you know, if it be silent a little bit too long, your girl start to nose. <laughs> okay, it's not funny, but I'm being for real. Like, it just, anyways. God really did talk to me this morning, though, because I was, like, sitting in my silent time when I was praying. And I do it based off, like, the little guided Bible app. But the Lord was just, like, kept playing the song in my head. I can't remember who it's remixed by, but I think somebody in Maverick City, but in the song they're singing, I'll still bless you. But for whatever reason, in my head, it always registered as I'm still blessed in the middle of the storm, in the middle of the, tr like, I'm still blessed. But no, she's saying I will still bless God and he kept playing it in my head and I kept hearing it the way I normally hear it so I was like let me go listen to the whole song so it's like 10 minutes because y'all know church songs be long okay <laughs> long so I go and I listen to it and I'm like it just gave me a new it just gave me a whole new perspective so <sighs> anyways excuse me best drink you could ever get at Sonic don't say I never did nothing for you Cran limeade and if you want something frozen a cherry ice cream vanilla slush like period Okay, we're headed to our date. I'm going to film most of it on my phone, but I just wanted to come check in with y'all. I filmed like a sh get ready with me, but y'all, why am I starting to get allergic reaction on the side of my face? I'm so sick about it, but I'm dressed. I'll insert maybe a picture of what I actually look like because I had to just rush and hurry up and finish getting ready. And then Aaron's brother's here, so I'm about to order some pizza to the house for the boys. But yeah, we're going to a fragrance and wine making class style not wine making fragrance making but they have like wine tasting and you get champagne at the door so we'll see how fun this is <laughs>
think you can choose more than that, but like. Okay. Okay. I was trying to get her nigga. Uh, rose petal gelato. Okay. That's a nice one. Aqua, aqua de Gio. That's a dude. Uh, amber. Amber. And we got red currant. Okay. All right. Table three. Be responsible for a break or something. <laughs> Thank you. That's all right. We're going to take it out of his, uh, uh, okay. his commission with us. Uh, it was built on his card, anyway. All right. So, we are ready to put you in here. I don't know what in your okay, right mind you think you have over there. But... You like I got the head. I got the head sign on. I'm going to walk past it. Right. Oh, shit. Turn around. Oh, what was that? That's what was that again, my friend? What did you need to do? Okay, uh, Naya, did you pull the loom yet? No, somebody said I have food out here. <laughs> All right, so if y'all want to write down how you feel in the moment, go ahead, because I'm going to get it ready. The big beaker, I just gave you, and then you're going to pour your oils in there, okay? Pour it to what? 1.2? Pour, pour it all in there. Oh. We, we pre-measured it for you. Yeah, I took mine. Who took yours? I don't know. It's gone. Oh, with all my friends.